have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Design Inspiration, this is Jewelry Maker, my name is Rebecca Reddikin and I have got some spectacular treats for you today, genuinely astonishing, I am so so happy to be able to bring to you one of the most luxurious outstanding and lengthy strands of ruby I have ever ever seen graduated rounds of genuine natural ruby coming up for you today this has to be one of the most workable strands of ruby I have seen in a very 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 long time I have also got for you a bit of a triple whammy when it comes to the DVDs. Now, have you ever fallen in love with some astonishing designs by one of our most legendary and most loved guest designers? If you have, today is your first and probably only chance to get your hands on this astonishing collection of DVDs. All three are coming at you today at a discounted bargainacious price. Not only do you this wonderful and truly legendary guest designer home with you and you've actually got her in the studio with me today she is so wonderful ridiculously talented and trust me the treats she has got for you today you are going to fall in love all over again it is of course the one and the only Rachel Norris hello, hello Becky how are you absolutely fine absolutely fine when I and I'm going to bring you um today and relax. It's a polymer clay and wire work piece, something for everyone to try. And um, then a slightly more advanced wire work piece, which is a challenge um, to people to have a go at and, and, um, and progress with their wire work. So I've hopefully got something for everybody. Um, I just I look, really look forward to, to bringing both the projects to you today. So Your pieces are <laughs> astonishing, Thank as you. always, as always. But you have sort of outdone yourself on these ones. The work and the passion that has gone into these, you can tell you. instantly. As soon as you see these pieces, you, you will know the amount of work and love that went into these. And you can see the love. Why mm. was this selection of projects such a love of Ooh. you? Because you can see just by looking at I, it um, that they are. These particular animals love them anyway. So, and I sort of I wanted to, I mean, I did a wire work version last year for a magazine. Mm -hmm. And now, and I, and I made a silver clay version myself for a necklace, and um, I thought, well, this can translate really well to polymer clay, so we're going to make them today. 
Um, I haven't got them all out yet. <laughs> I just That's a bit good. We'll have a little sneaky peek. Crazy on them, which is only because I wanted to get the shape right, the design right. Some of these are, are prototype designs, and then I thought, well, no, this is the one I'm going to bring to the show. So it's just all the different ways you can use this uh, little creature to um, make jewellery with. They yeah, are okay. astonishing. You are going yeah. to be learning how to make those Indian elephants as part of our first designer inspiration. That will be coming up to you about half past one. And of course, we have got Rachel Norris with us all afternoon. She is not only so talented and so lovely, but she is one of the most helpful guest designers. She truly is. You absolutely adore helping people out, don't you? Oh, well, thank you. Yes, I, I like to um, help people along their journey because I know how much if, if people make a comment on my on a piece of jewellery I've put up on Facebook, it just means the world. And then this, if I do the same to someone else, it's just that I know how what a boost it can be, and if I'm there to help as well. So I, I just enjoy that part of it. Absolutely. It's the teaching in the process, a bit like what St uh, Stephanie Heddy said yesterday. It's the teaching in the process of it, and the um, design, and the putting together, and assembly, and then teaching of it is the joy. I you can all. absolutely mm. tell that you believe that and, and truly she is with us until five o'clock she's so helpful mm. give us a text in Rachel's here all afternoon and she is here to help you no matter what the question even if you think it's a little bit silly and maybe you've only just started out there are no stupid questions we all take our journey at different paces so do get in touch with us today 60 triple seven is the text number start your text with the word JM studio alternatively you can go on our website and that is jewelrymaker.com Send a message to the studio in a little box there and it'll wing its way to us. Let's get started, shall we? I have got genuinely some of the smallest amount of uh, organics left for you. Now, I know I've told you about the situation with pearls at the moment and the fact that there used to be quite an abundance of them, but with lots of different things going on at the moment, including natural disasters, including man-made issues, pearls are getting harder and harder and harder to get your hands on, and therefore the price is skyrocketing. When we hit around the December time, you're going to be seeing so few of these, so today really is your chance this is your first of the pearl strands I have got for you this afternoon Wow these are really sizable aren't they they have got an oh so beautiful delicate pearlescence to them these are your purple straight drilled cultured propels look at the size of these 11 by 10 mil now if you're new to us or perhaps you're not totally sure how our pearl itself is created by mother nature essentially what happens is a mollusk will have an irritant within it and to protect itself it will um it will excrete a, a substance that's called necra and this is almost like a silk like substance and what happens is over time this builds up and up and up and that's what creates this pearl so every single one of these pearls because of the size of them we know it will have taken mother nature around 10 to 11 years to create every single one because that's how slow the process of the necro building up is now if you think about all of the work and the effort and energy that goes into these it's not surprising is it that pearls are one of the the most sought after and loved organics in the world. When it comes to pearls, because everybody knows the effort that goes into them, because everybody knows how ageless, timeless and bang on trend they have always been and continue to be, it's funny to see the variety in prices you can get. Think about when you go onto the high street and you've seen, I'm sure you have, really large, beautiful necklaces created with this organic. What price point are you generally thinking? easily easily if it's got a big high-end name attached to it you can easily be up there in, in you know the thousands can't you if it's got a big name you know your Tiffany and Co your Dolce and Gabbana and of course your Chanel who is synonymous for working with this you will absolutely understand and know uh, the price points even though if you go to the the high street jewelers you know the, the smaller named ones uh, that you'll see everywhere on the high street you're even then looking around the 200 100 pound mark aren't you easily not here at jewelry maker though because we like to get stop it no it's not i swear i did a 10 by 11 baroque the other day and it wasn't that price 
seven pounds and 95 pence this is astonishing double buyers left right center upwards downwards your names have gone off my screen there's so many of you already got your hands on this lots of you coming in on the phone i've only got 67 of these left at this moment in time it is so amazing I started off with 300 of these originally and I've only got 66 of them left and do you know what I'm just looking at this and it's reminding me of a gorgeous gem I've got coming up for you in a little bit how beautiful does this go together oh. yeah that is stunning isn't it this is Shara lights a genuine gemstone cab coming up for you shortly. How perfectly do they pair together? <gasps> I've only got 43 of these left at this moment in time. This is going to be one of your quickest opportunities. We know we're going to have a busy day today. We've had DVD launch this morning. We're going to be relaunching that DVD for you later on. So if you didn't manage to get your hands on it or you didn't hear lovely Rachel talk about it, we will be getting into that later on. Um, and also we've had amazing Alison on today who, bless her, she had a bit of a cough, didn't she? She's giving me some of her, her, her throat sweets. I've got, I've got a tickly one coming. And we've also got Rachel Norris with us all afternoon, which always brings in a massive crowd of followers. So we know it's going to be busy today. And you can tell that I started off with over 300. I've got 40 of them left. Once they're gone, they're gone. I have got all the stock in here today in this show. So if you miss them, they are gone, I'm afraid. It is the organic of the year. It's been absolutely everywhere. And the popularity of pearls is set to continue. It truly, well, it's not. It's set to increase, in fact. Especially when we come into the winter times, because you've got all of these, um, seen all these faux fur jackets and shrugs that have come in absolutely everywhere at the moment. Um, they've got that beautiful pearlescent sheen haven't they you've got that feeling with this and that's why they're just going to continue to just be so so popular get your hands in it whilst you can the code on these is fppo 59 for your purple straight drilled cultured baroque pearls yours today at a ridiculously low seven pounds and 95 pence treat yourself to these today why not why not I've only got 33 of these left though. In fact, yeah, should we do that now? Yeah, go on. Let me show you these together. I'm gonna do this beautiful cab for you now. It is one of the most exclusive gemstones in the world. This is your Charolite. It is so so beautiful. This is one of the rarest uh, silicate minerals in the world. This is, when it comes to silicate minerals, this is one of the top five rarest in the world, which is just astonishing that I've got it on the show for you today. It truly is. I've never actually held this gemstone in this form uh, before, and I can tell you this, it is giving off the most beautiful pearlescent sheen, and that is due to the way this mineral itself is built up. Now, if you're a connoisseur, you will already know a lot about this gemstone. This really is one of those gems which um, demands attention. It's completely unique in so, so many ways. When we have a look at it, you'll be able to see it, it is completely opaque, which means that over the surface of this, you have almost a toyancy. You have a toyant blast. Now, it might be really hard for you to see in these lights, but when you get it home, you will be able to understand exactly what I'm talking about. It was actually discovered in 1940 in Siberia is when this gem was first discovered, but it wasn't actually described until much, much later, until around 1978. And it's actually named after uh, the Shara River, which is near to where it was found. Now, the thing about this gemstone is the rarity. It is so unique and it is one locational. Now that means when we talk about a one locational gemstone, what we mean is this gemstone has only ever been found and ever mined in one location in the world. And that is, as I said before, in Siberia. Now when we think of one locational gemstones, you're going to be thinking of things such as tanzanite, aren't you? You're going to be thinking of these really high end things like Larimar. Now with this gemstone in particular, the mining area is even smaller than that of the 16 kilometers 
Kilometre mining area of Tanzanite, which goes to show you how rare this is and also depicts to you why the connoisseurs and perhaps even the people who have done their GIA and perhaps people who have followed gems for a long time and really studied gems know a lot about this, but perhaps a lot more people out there don't. Now, I've only got I've only got 16 of these left right now. Lots of you have already checked out your basket. It's only ever been on air once before, and the 16 that you see now is the last that I have left. £19.95 is your price on this cab today. Now think of it this way. You are only yourself a large piece of this gemstone, 50 carats worth. The thing that is going to really, really push a lot of you, I'm sure, to creating a piece with this is the fact that you can get this home. Maybe you already have an idea in mind as to what to do with it, but you can research this gemstone because trust me, there is so much information out there about this. If you're into myths and lore, if you're into crystal healing, um, apparently crystal healers believe that this is very, very good for serenity. If you pop it onto your pillow at night, it's meant to help you sleep better. There's so much information out there behind this. So what I would suggest to you is think of something to create and then do your research. If you want to sell this on or give it as a gift, you can pass on this knowledge to people. And let's face it, when people can see something and you pass on knowledge and you, you know, inform them about this gorgeous gemstone well then you have passed on something really exciting for them to enjoy and wear and to then tell their friends I've officially not got any left because I've got three people with it in their baskets and I've only got two available it's between uh, Brenda Veronica and Meg at this moment in time whoever checks out first will get your hands on this most rare of minerals congratulations to everyone hi Becky I bought this cab when it was first on um, I I've had um, about to buy another one. Oh no, how awful for you, Stella. It is absolutely captivating. I've fallen in love. It really is, isn't it, Stella? Thank you very much for texting. It's got that chatoyancy and that pearlescence. It's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? Stella, thank you very much for that. You're nodding along at this. I've got um, that one and I've got the oval. And I'm Happy. thinking of making a really big statement pendant right. a bit like I'll show you oh. and it'll be a, a real corker actually <gasps> if I make oh one like gosh. that um, and set the oval on its side uh, and oh. the teardrop at the bottom oh, and the teardrop at the bottom um, like this and it'll go really nicely <gasps> in the in the setting so you actually have this one at home then um I do waiting I haven't had a chance to to use it create yet. something with it yet uh, there's four of you now bidding for this whoever checks okay. out first you're an absolute love Rachel <laughs> uh, whoever checks out first will get it 1995 congratulations Jean I've only got one of those left at this moment in time okay let me bring to you I didn't realize we had this in today oh no I've only got 50 of these Ryan, it's my favourite cut. Have we got a slide about this? My favourite cut in the whole wide world, hands down. It takes work, effort, it takes a lifetime of skill and we're bringing the last 50 of these to you today. What do you think of these gemstones, Rachel? Um, I I like white quartz actually because of the mirror light reflections inside and I, I like its clarity you can wear it in the daytime and evening and, it's, and these are beautifully cut in, in that you can use them as pendants and also the drill hole is in a place that I can use because I um, the, the drill holes the placement is obviously for different people to use in different ways yes. Um, I either use stones without a drill hole in, or if it's in that sort of position, um, I can pop some wire wrapping over it, or because I wouldn't use a drill hole, um, although I could use it just to attach or fix something. But it's good they have got one in place, so you can put it as a bale for a, a pendant, the be place for that. Um, and the other two, you can either have as earrings, uh, you could use the central one as a massive, great, beautiful ring. Um, yes. Uh, I think um, that's a, a really nice trio, actually. It's beautiful, mm. isn't it? I absolutely adore the fact that we're able to bring to you this cut on this stunning, stunning gemstone. The concave cut truly is a lifetime's work for very, very few. Around 0.0. 
0.00 recurring 1% of the population can create this cut. In a, in a warehouse where you will have a, a group of lapidris, say you have around 500 lapidris, you would be lucky, and I mean in the vast minority, um, if you have 500 uh, lapidris in your workhouse and you had just two concave artists in there, you would be ridiculously lucky. The reason is, people will train up to 10, 15 years to become a lapidrist, and then you will train for, on top of that, another around 15 years to learn to create this cut. Once you learn this cut, you're no longer a lapidrist, you are named a concave artist. And once you're a concave artist, you are not allowed to recreate any other cuts again you're not allowed to create the baguette cut the emerald cut you are only ever day in day out able to produce this cut now generally from start to finish once the gem the rough has come in uh, into the workshop generally we'll say it takes around seven to eight minutes to cut and shape a gemstone that say was a normal round about seven to eight minutes per gemstone this cut takes around 45 minutes oh per gemstone to cut. So realistically, we're looking around, these three taking around three hours to cut. That's a lot of work that goes into this, isn't there? Now, the fact of the matter is you are getting something which not only is a lifetime work for very, very few, but let's face it, it's just flipping beautiful, isn't it? And at the price I'm about to give you, you're going to be amazed. It's just £19 and 95 pence. This is astonishing. I need you to just focus on this one gem for me. I want you to look at how the light travels through this because the way the light travels is purely due to the cut of this. So can you see as I'm bringing it on now, that fire internally is shifting, isn't it? Can you see that you've got these light areas of real, real brightness? That sometimes is known as the life of the gemstone. And look, you have got so much of that in here, picking up all of the colors around it, really bringing the eye into that center section on this stunning gemstone, because let's face it, if the quality of this gemstone was not up to scratch, we would not be spending 45 minutes shaping and creating this stunning optical effect, would we? There are no heat spots in this. There are no dark spots. There are zero inclusions whatsoever. This in itself, for me, is just a beautiful pendant and pair of earrings. For a pendant of this quality for itself, you would minimum be uh, paying around the £30 mark, wouldn't you? just for the one minimum just for the work that's gone into it already i've only got 35 of these left once it's gone it's gone it's 35 carats worth of your clear quartz for this most exceptional work and the cut on this is fantastic it's almost the archetypal cut isn't it when you imagine a genuine gemstone, this is almost the type of cut you imagine, isn't it? But this is in fact so much more than that. It's so much more than the standard cut. Uh, say your princess cut, the work that goes into this is, is well, tripled essentially. 35 carats of your clear quartz, 19 pounds and 95 uh, pence for only 34 of these opportunities left. Say that to me again, sorry, Scott. It's all right, love. Ooh, gemstone chain. I've got meters worth of this here. Oh my goodness, this is astonishing. Have a little look. Gold plated, which we already know, gold massively up in price at the moment. Um, it's, it's only slightly outdoing sterling silver right now. It's up from the start of the year, from the very start of the year, it's up around 31% the price of gold at the moment. Uh, sterling silver from the start of the year is up around 31.6%. This is, therefore, your precious metal gold enveloped within your gorgeous, genuine silver. This is a real treat for you. On top of that, you've got this smoky quartz. I've got a brand new strand of smoky quartz coming up for you in a bit too. The smoky quartz in this is such a deep and rich smoky tone, isn't it? 
every single one of them has a beautiful transparency to it but the deepness and the richness in this smoky colour is really really rich isn't it of course as I always say beauty is within the eye of the beholder when it comes to your smoky quartz but it is highly recognized and highly regarded in the gem world that the deeper the smoke the higher the quality and I think it's safe to say that the smokiness on these is seriously rich, isn't it? It truly, truly is. And I love the fact that this has been set with the gold. It's just such a beautiful juxtaposition between that deep, rich, uh, almost stainless steel, uh, almost titanium tone of the smoky quartz, just contrasting with that warmth and that richness of the beautiful gold that's enveloping that silver. These chains take so much work to create they truly truly do every one of these hand created i've only got 30 27 left i'd better get your price in hadn't i for all of this a meter's worth of chain 21 pounds and 95 pence for you today that is all you're paying for this the work that goes into this is astonishing every single one hand created now on here, you've got at each side of the gemstone, you've got your double wraps loop. And Rachel, of course, you are a wirework genius, mm. but even you know how long it can take to create something like this. Well, it's time actually that I'd rather spend making other things. So yeah. if you can actually um, use those on the side um, of your of your uh, ready-made pen, of your pendant you spent hours making, um, you don't want to spend another two hours making a chain up. Um, and so your time, uh, you know, you, you can move on to other projects, you've made your pendant up and it's all ready to go. And it's also got some beautifully accented gemstones within the chain that you can use. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you were to have this chain, what sort of things would you do or what would you maybe pair it with? Uh, now, we're smoky quartz. Um, obviously amethyst goes really well, um, any honey tones, um, but obviously the purple and the purple and the brown, well, that's the ultimate pairing. The um, um, yes, oh gosh, I've gone, I've gone blankety blank. <laughs> Checkbook and pen. Checkbook um, and pen. <laughs> oh, I used to love that program. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know. With with the chain itself, um, again, little little gemstone tassels on earrings, tassels oh, on the cute. bottoms of pendants, and they're all there ready. And um, um, layering them up to make a really sort of four strand bracelet would be. Stunning. Oh wow, um, that would be a really show You've stuff, got some three it? or four strand clasps on, on the website sometimes actually, yes. and they're ever so useful. You can sort of hook them onto it and, and use it, or you can make your own connector if you want to. Um, gosh, stacks of uses. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? It's absolutely fab. The work that goes into these and the amazing ideas lovely Rachel has given you, it's absolutely stunning. Not many of these left yet. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's yours today for just £21.95. Congratulations to everyone who got that. Oh my goodness. Now, when I saw, I've got producer Scott today because Eleanor's off learning how to make jewellery mm. in uh, the workshop in there. They're all, is she there? Oh yeah, look, everyone else is on the <laughs> lunch. Look at her pretending to work away at the end there. Oh, she hates being on TV, so she'll hate this. <laughs> she hates it. Let's focus on her a bit more. Um, so, I, I, I've got Scott in today, and Scott, goodness, Ben, you are amazing. Good effort, 10 points, worker of the day. Have a look. 15 strands. Now what happens when we bring you this many strands? We give you crazy discounts. It's power of purchase. It's like when you go to these big sort of department stores and you know you buy crates of things, don't you? And you, you stock up for say your shop or, or your parties or whatever. And the discount is always astonishing. That is power of purchase and that's what I'm about to bring to you. Just trust me on this. This is a stash topper up. I've not got that many. The price point's ridiculous. Get yourself on the phone because I've got Ruby in here. So much of this beautiful matte effects, Ruby. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adore this. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go quite quickly through this. So I'll give you all a really good look of each one and then um, I'll get your price in for you. Just trust me on it though, you've got 15 stunning strands. You've got rubies in here, you've got pearls in here, I've got some pyrite. It's a stash top up. I wouldn't necessarily suggest you use it all in one place unless you want it to be weighed down a little bit. Um, but this is great if, if you're just starting out. 
You haven't really got a clue what gemstones you like, what you don't like, what you like to work with, what you don't, what shapes you like. This is going to be great. I've got different shapes, got different gems. I've got some quartzite for you here as well. Beautiful, gentle, light blue. Cool beans. I've got uh, your gentle sky blue and what I describe as kind of a periwinkle blue on here as well. Um, let me give you some of the dimensions of this. You have got the quartzite, which we're looking, the size on these is eight mil, four mil. Four mil playing rounds on these in the gentle blue. Your ruby is a beautiful nugget shape. You've got 90 carats worth of this ruby. You've also got on here, oh my gosh, I absolutely adore this. <gasps> How beautiful. It's got like a, this beautiful tiger's eye. It's so spectacular. The tiger's eye, you've got the tubes and you're looking carrot wise, 50 carats worth on these tubes. Astonishing chatoyancy there. You've also got a really nice shell strand in these teardrop shapes. Look at how funky the um, picture is on that. It's almost got a bit of a 60s vibe going on with it, hasn't it? This shell is your fancy pears and you're looking size-wise around 20 by 29 mil. You've also got in here a strand of your faceted pyrites. Wow, that is so beautiful. The size on these faceted pyrites, you've got 30 uh, carats worth in here. It doesn't actually say the size in front of me, but I will guess for you, we're looking at, you know, it's around the kind of three mil, isn't it? Uh, there is a graduation on that strand. Look at how high shine that is. Stunning. We've also got in here your rose quartz, and this is your graduated Squares, 50 carats worth on this strand. Gentle graduation on these, very gentle. Beautiful internal glow when it comes to those, isn't it? I've then also got for you a strand of your clear quartz. This is so beautiful. Size on this, these are your plain rounds. Size on this today is three mil on these ones. They're so beautiful, elegant, really, really beautiful and clear. If you manage to get your hand on those concave cut early, you want to be adding those to your basket, don't you? Um, I've also got in here, I love this shape. Personally, don't think we have this on enough. This is your beautiful, really rich, deep cushions of your white agate. 170 carats worth on these. Really beautiful. Imagine that as a ring. That, to me, is the perfect size for a ring. These are already going. OK, let's get your pricing, shall we? I haven't finished. £60.75 for 15 strands of genuine gemstones is astonishing. This is jewellery maker, though. I'm going to make it irresistible. Last chance, though. I've not even finished. I'm not even partway through. £39.95. I've not got many of these left though. I really haven't. Be really quick. I've not even finished yet. Be really quick on the phone. Hardly any left. I've got a double strand coming up for you here. Let me show you this. Oh, pre night. Stop cuddling it. Um, have a little look at this chalcedony. Really delicate tones here of these nuggets. Uh, this is your blue chalcedony. We're looking at around 170 carats a double strand so even though I've just said this is a 15 strand mega bundle for me it's really 16 it's as well as this you are labradorite these are your faceted labradorite and this is uh, from Canada and these are your rectangular faceted pieces they are 8 by 12 mil and they're 120 carats worth on this today you have got this beautiful tutorial uh, this labrador essence running over i didn't lie to you i told you there was genuine pearls in here as well look at these little stunners these are your white cultured pearls they are so beautiful they've got a real nice depth to them the pearl essence is really spanning across these you've got your pre-night as well to add a little cuddle with calcedony earlier on uh, these these are from South Africa and these have got 50 carats worth on here. Now they're described as nuggets, but 
they're six and a half by eight and a half mil these ones so they're they're not really that nuggety to me these they've got a lot of similarities to them as well as this we're nearly coming to the end don't worry um i've got your beautiful shell uh no i haven't i have got your gorgeous quartzite here yes there it is i can see it now these are your eight mil quartzite rounds there's 160 carats worth and you've got your quartzite in the 12 mil as well 35 of these left this is all of your goodies this is a stash topper upper isn't it it truly truly is there is so so much in here let me put these on there OMG! Me and the pugs nearly fell off the chair! Emily! That is adorable. Oh my gosh, I love pugs. They're the ones that are for phrases like that, aren't they? Did you? What was your pug called? Um, Pugwash. <laughs> Pugwash. Pugwash? Yes, and there was another one which I can't say, but um, but he was, he was, he was Puggy. We had several. Oh, did to be you? Honest, yeah, we got a bit. We ran out of name. Puggy and then um, Pugwash. <laughs> Pugwash, that is absolutely <laughs> adorable. Oh my gosh, Emily, it is an absolute crazy price point on that. I'm putting them on here so you can have a really good oh hello span across them. The great thing is doing stuff like this. Do you ever lose your mojo? Do you ever lose your creative mojo and you think, oh? I have no idea what to create today. I, I really want to make something. I'm feeling a bit creative, but I'm not totally sure what to make. And then maybe you've had that opportunity and maybe you've just looked at your stash and thought, oh, I'm not really sure. I've not really got the ones that are kind of tickling my fancy. Well, now is your opportunity to get that fancy tickled at just £39.95. I've only got 26 of these left, started off with loads of them. Now, the lovely thing is you're going to be getting quartz, shell, pyrite, uh, you've got some chalcedony, you've got genuine ruby in here, tiger's eye, pre night, you've got the um, stunning pearls in here as well. You've got so, so much to really just spark the imagination and perhaps you've created something or you've started, I do this all the time, it really annoys me. You start making something and then you think, oh I wish I'd just add, you know, a three mil round but you don't have any or, oh I wish I had some like really big feature shell pieces but I don't have any well this is going to stop all of those issues for you 19 pounds you should have been over 60 it's just 39.95 for you today an astonishing little discount for you now i am moving over to the wonderful rachel norris in mere moments but first things first i'm going to bring to you her designer inspiration kit now rachel how was this to work with oh absolutely fabulous i got to say and i really um because of course you don't get to see the gemstones until they arrive and um, I thought the pinks and the golds, we've got some beautiful combinations and Bollywood um, opportunities here with the colours and of course the black adds that sophistication you can team that up with the gold as well and of course I'm teaming up with clay, colours of copper, colours of gold so um, those colours go so well with uh, the gemstones and the wire as well, it was just sport for sport really, it was beautiful. And with. why did you go for the the elephant design? Because I know <laughs> a lot of people out there love elephants. Yes. It's a very good look charm, mm. isn't it? Well, um, I love elephants. My mother was born in India, actually, oh, um, wow. but it's actually now Pakistan because it was before the big divide. Yeah. And she was born in um, Abbottabad, up in the, um, the the mountains there. So she grew up as a child um, there, and. Um, we have sort of carved carvings of elephants, of furniture was brought back by also on the other side of my family as well, which also lived in India. Um, we've got some beautiful, beautiful elef elephant carvings and um, so they've lived in my house and like, as a child, I just oh. I love them, so I thought oh, I, just like, I like the, the animals themselves, they're beautiful animals. So, and you yeah, can see the love lovely. that goes into <laughs> your creations. You really, really can. I've got some beautiful selection of colours in here for you. Let's start off with very precious metals, shall we? Rose gold, 925 sterling silver flat based headpins. 20 of these we're going to be getting in this kit today. 
Now these are your 30 mils, so there's a great size on these for just those added little extras, the little swirls, the little je ne sais quoi, the little added pieces that you want, you have from these and you can also make some really cr dramatic drops with these. You've then got the 925 again, but with the gold ball head pins. Take a look at some of these. Serious amount of these ones. 75. You're gonna be getting. Back to the matter is, when you are people like Rachel, <laughs> who put love and thought and effort and care and kind of a little bit of yourself in a way into mm -hmm. every single one of your pieces, mm -hmm. You want to work with 925, don't you? You want to work with genuine plated gold 925 because when you give your love and your effort and your passion, you want to really highlight it to the best of its abilities. And that's what you've got with this kit because you've got 75 pieces of the gold plated head pins with the ball head and you've got 20 pieces of the rose gold with the flat head on here. So that's your precious metal. Let's have a little look at all the wires we get in here because we're getting plenty. You've got the selection of the gold. In this golden colour, you're going to be getting 10 metres of your 1 mil, 10 metres of your wonderful 025, and 10 metres worth of your 024. So we've very much got structural here, and then we've got some weaving wires as well. You've then got this gorgeous, rich copper tone, which just works spectacularly spectacularly in these designs and again you've got 10 meters of the one mil 10 meters uh, sorry 15 meters of the 025 and 10 meters worth of the 0.4 so both 025s don't forget now have 15 meters on them we did that as a little thank you to you with we used to just do 10 meters but we're now doing 15 because we realize of course it's a much thinner wire so we give you that extra as a little treat so that's what you've got today You've then, I'm not stopping there, you've got so much in here. Um, I've also got some polymer. Now, talk to us about polymer clay. Um, oh, it's a, it's um, actually a really good fun medium to work with. Um, the colours I picked are sort of um, quite sophisticated colours mm. and they can be zhuzhed up with the mica powders and the glooms that we've got as well. I've used the mica powders um, this time and I've got a few pieces showing the, the gleams, so showing the different effects you can get with the two different products and the way they're, different, they're used, so I can talk about that. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's fun because oh, you can, children can play with it and adults can play with it. Yeah. And it's actually such, so therapeutic for me because I would do so much wire work to actually do something that's not wire work is fun for me because it's a break um, for my fingers as well I'm, I'm using them in a different way yeah um, and, and it must be for know. the mind as yes. well because yes. if you're so used to doing wire work mm. you have to almost lock into another part yes because you're using a solid block of, of, of effect of color of shape whereas yeah. with wire you're forming a, a frame and then filling it in here you've got a kind of a solid block and then you're, you're adorning it this one I've taken the color out of it so you just literally learning to make shapes and forms with it so you don't have the worry of blending colors just this time we're just using one single block um to Isn't form it a shape natural yes form. yes i adore that yeah. it, honestly what you, these pieces are just fabulous you've got your black you've got your bronze and you've got your antique gold the bronze and the antique gold has the accents in there now that means that you've got the glitter in there which again really ties in this beautiful indian elephant kind of bollywood feel yes. doesn't it it really does yeah. you've then though got your mica powders which we've just spoken about I will show you exactly how to use these and exactly what you can do with them. You can paint with them, you can add them to polymer and there you go, so, so far. You've got your copper colour and you've got your light gold. I'm not even started on the gemstones yet. You have got this most alluring black agate really stunning luster sarah bennett actually um who is steve bennett's wife who, who works here and she has her own jewelry design she says that black agate is her absolute favorite gemstone for luster because it just gives luster unlike any other and i have to say i completely agree look at this seductive sparkle mm -hmm. look at how the light plays on the surface of this it's just spectacular you have got your 10 mil rounds and they are 250 carats worth here 250 carats worth. 
don't forget when we refer to carrots that's only to be used with genuine gemstones and that's how you know you've got the real deal here as well as that you are going to be getting your pink quartzite 250 carats as here again same size 10 mil on these the black and the pink work together spectacularly highlighted even more in rachel's design so you're going to get a real real treat for the senses when you see these and lastly but by no means leastly a little bit of gold, a little bit of brightness, a little bit of a sheen brought to you with this absolutely stunning strand of your gold colored pyrite. This has got a stunning submetallic luster, hasn't it? It really is. It's cooling to the skin, but it's warming in color. It's a beautiful juxtaposition. 110 carats worth for you on that. Take a look at all of this. Have a look at everything you're getting for 56 pounds and 20 pence with 95 with genuine gold with genuine rose gold with 10 20 30 40 40 56 70 meters worth of wire three blocks of polymer two micas and a whopping carrot weight when it comes to these gemstones 56 is astonishing of course, it's designer inspiration though, and Rachel Norris's designs are so good, we want you all to have a go. Your price today is just £39.95. That's over £16 off. £16.25. We hardly ever do that price drop. Oh my goodness, what are we used to seeing price drop wise as designer inspiration? Six pounds, sometimes seven pounds, sometimes you're lucky if you get 12 pounds, but 16 pounds and 25 pence off. That is a serious whopper. You have got 75 pieces of the sterling silver wrapped in that gold. You've got of the flathead pins, four gemstones too, with a massive amount of wire. All of that polymer, your inspiration from the wonderful Rachel Norris. Hello, Aww. we're together again. I was so excited okay. for today. Your piece, when you sent me your pieces the other day, I, was, I, was, I had my um, show with, it was Stephanie Eddy yesterday, and on the break, when I go have snacks, um, I look on my phone, and I just saw that you sent me these pictures, and oh my goodness, this, you. you can see the love you've put into these. Thank you. I have worked a long time on the pieces, but you know, I got carried away, so I still sort of enjoyed it as well. So That's I didn't fun. mind. I didn't mind at all. It wasn't That's yesterday's good. show beautiful actually with Stephanie's pieces. They actually, were they were sort of a festival of of talent there with with oh, the Viking. Absolutely, um, it's just a wealth of goodies. Yes, yeah, there was pointers for everybody. I learnt things as well, so it was good. You know, That's I really amazing, did. I learnt loads of stuff. So it was. Um, I'm glad you had her on. Oh my mm. goodness, it was so much fun. It really was. And when we're talking about show-stopping festival pieces, well, I think it's just been epitomised here, really, hasn't it? These pieces are stunning, show-stopping art pieces, but really wearable. Thank you, thank you. They're actually, because I've, you can either take the elephant on its own, or you can put it on a back plaque. Um, you can turn it into a bracelet. You can um, event. You can make little freestanding ones as well. Oh, I love um, him. And uh, you know these can be given. I mean, you've got Christmas coming up. These are sort of little decorations for tables, and there's That's all these little really things you can make with idea, the little elephant decorations for for the for the table. Because and elephants. And other festivals as well, of course, for other religions that uh, love elephants, you know, can make them too. So. Because mm. elephants are, they are a good luck charm. A lot of people do collect them, actually, don't they? I think um, the, an elephant said to represent s stability and it's said to mm. um, uh, represent kind of eternal caring and love. And it's mm. a beautiful symbol created Thank in you. stunning designs. <laughs> it really, truly is. How was it all to work with them? Oh, um, as I say, it was good fun. It's you got just, carried it away. Good fun, yes. So, <laughs> What we're going to do is start to assemble the elephant body, first of all. Wonderful. Condition the clay ready. And um, basically, because we're measuring elephants out, and we're um, going to, some people want to make a big elephant, and some people are going to make small, small. elephants. Basically, um, if you just use a disc cutter yep. and use three discs for the body, like that, and we're going to use two discs 
for the head I'll get another bit of clay out of the over. same size of the same size okay. for the head and trunk so I'll just cut those out do you have to have worked with polymer a lot to create this look um, I think if you're just good with your hands and you like sort of um, quite tactile yes yeah, so if you make sugar craft uh, for, ice, for icing cakes um, you're going to love you know you can work with this it's a lovely feeling once you've got it all in condition it's, a, it's beautiful and supple uh, medium to work with Please, definitely. I uh, just need to let you know that I've got such a few amount of this kit left because there's so much in it. It's crossing over so many mediums. If you've never tried polymer before but you really, really love the look of these, why not just give them a go today at that price? You've got over £16 off. I've only got 41 left. We started off with loads. So do get yourself involved today. So I've got three for the body and two for the head and trunk. So I'm okay. going to roll it together and make a body. It might, gosh, might end up being upside down, you know, because I'm, well, we'll see how it works. So if you to, work it towards yourself, it works the right way around for the camera. It? Oh, good, yeah. that's right. Which is handy. I'm making quite a big one, actually, for the cameras and everything. So I roll them all together, and I'm going to make a sort of, a kind of parallelogram with a little sort of back um, and body like, like okay. that. Can you see it like that? Yeah. Good. And then, then I'm going to make it to the, the head and trunk. <laughs> Rolling it together. And this is a bit where you have to shape the head, the head a little bit. Um, I'm making the, the top of the head a little bit domed. This has been sitting. Um, giving it a little uh, eyebrow, flattening it. You can see how I'm moving it with my fingers down, yeah. pulling it down to make a trunk. And so then, you're just easing it into yes, shape, aren't in, you? Yeah, there we are. We've got a little elephant. Oh my gosh! But you haven't lost anything. Push it onto there, and then start to blend this. In with your fingers and it doesn't matter if it shapes out of shape you've just got the proportions of the clay right um, and I'm just going to turn it over and slightly bend it at the back it'll stick to itself pretty well it's not the end of the world if you have a gap at gap because just you can blend it yeah, in a little bit this in. and this is shaped out of shape but it doesn't matter it was just to show you approximately what we should we should be achieving Fab. again try and um, baby wipes are good at getting fingerprints out of the way good tip um, things like that so again I have fingerprints all over them if you're looking close up so uh, that's the one thing when you're working with mica powder you, ha you can't smooth the clay off and you have to try and get it as smooth as possible and then put the, the mica powder on because you can't um, sand it down afterwards no, as far as I know I probably you know I hope I haven't got that wrong but there we go there's the body and the the head now the next thing we're going to do is form the legs um, and you basically need half a circle for okay. each front and hind legs so again make a little cylinder so make sure I've got it oh yeah and then make a little little fat cylinder for each leg with a slightly flat end again this has got a little mark on it again it's not perfectly conditioned because again you don't have much time to, to get all these bits ready but and they've been sitting in a box but there's one leg Aww. and then you Blend stroke it. it in again Again, if it's be more better conditioned, it will stroke in a bit better. Gosh, is, you're making this look so easy, Rachel. Well, it's just with your fingers, you know. And again, it's it's all it is is smoothing it into shape. And then next one. And of course, that's the great thing with this as well. If anything does go atrociously wrong, you just squidge it up and do it again, don't I know. you? You're working also, Becky, on a flat surface, doing half an elephant. And then when you progress and you've got that elephant off pat, you can do your three-dimensional standing up elephant. Because you have to hold the elephant that. as you work with it a bit more. Um, you know what I mean? It's a little bit easier to do this uh, like this. Just check I've got him right. Make sure that head isn't too far out. Otherwise, you get something that looks a little bit like a clanger. Um, you know, with a leg. Are those the ones that did that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I made, a few, I made a few cl clangers. Yeah, There's one a clanger in the box. I can show you him later. Oh, is that? Yeah, I'm afraid. So he didn't. He hasn't come out on the show. <laughs> so we have. I've got my crib sheet. <laughs> That's wow. my messy crib sheet. Um, so we've done. I sure could draw an elephant, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> head trunk. Now we need to make a tail. So what we're going to do. Is make a little tail. Ah, what we might do is make a, show you how to make little shapes in the um, in the body. Okay. Um, these are um, code number TLZX48, mm -hmm. and they are um, I think they're your, notting, they're all your notting and they're brilliant actually for sort of paper tools. Um, 
and texture yes. and design. If you want that, I bought my pack with you. To, I bought an extra oh. set because they're on the tool sale, I think. Okay. So if you want to add those to your order, put them on your order. Do so. Then now. the code is on the back, Becky. If you want to. Uh -huh. Let everyone know. I've just got to get something out, actually. So, okay. Yeah. Um, just to let you know that I've not got that many of these left. I've got quite a few of you with it in your basket. Um, it's thirty nine ninety five. What do you think of the price of this kit? Because obviously you know how much you'd be selling, say, one well, of these for. It's hard to stuff you've got out of it. One pack. Um, will make one elephant and most of the bees for the sides. Wow. Um, you know, the, the extra polymer clay. That's amazing. Um, I think, you know, I got loads out of... So you've got three packs of polymer clay yeah, alone. Yeah. Um, in fact, actually, I've got far more out of it because I got all of that out of it, wow. to be honest. Um, all those pieces out of those packs. And, wow. and then you're adding in the beads. You see, the bee cats don't take much clay. Um, and I put mica powder on the beads as well to sort of dust on them and then sealed them with the sealant. So, Gorgeous. Yeah, so there we go. So let's now, using those knotting awls, we're just going to make a few marks. So mark for the legs like that, and then bring it around like that. And you start making the, the elephant creases and crinkles and Aww. around the top of his there, and, and cut in a little bit to make his mouth, just a tiny bit. And then what we're going to do next is bring the awl up and along, stroking along the trunk to make the marks of the trunk. We've also got to make the end of the trunk as well. Oh, of course, because they have the little lines on the trunk. Little, and then you press the awl in like that, just at the end, to make the end of the trunk. Just like that, and you've oh. got that, and you can curl a little trunk up. Now, next thing we're going to do is make a little tail. It makes it look really realistic, doesn't it? <laughs> it truly does. It's little details like that that just make it look so realistic. I used to work in a zoo, and I used to love the elephants. I used to go and sit with the elephants but for me lunch. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> and I would have too. <laughs> I love that. Like Good. Oh, we could have made each other by the elephants with our sarnies. I did zoology as my first degree, so it's a, wow, um, a long ago. But it, that's really animal, whatever. So animal biology. But that's amazing. Yeah. So, and you know about, more about elephants than I do, you see, now. <laughs> So with um, with a short length of moving on, sorry, short length of <laughs> moving on, uh, short length of one uh, millimeter wire, I've wound round, hand wound the 0.25 millimeter wire just to show you, and I'm going to cut those ends off. Okay. Um, okay. Got a bit more trembly. That's silly. Um, and then I'm just going to move that away because okay. I want to make a little diamond shape. Okay. I'm going to cut that end off, flush cutter pliers, just to make sure that end is sharp. And then a little diamond shape. Um, now, how are we going to show this like that? Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm sort of cheating, really, and just sliding the, sliding the coil over that diamond shape. I'm going to make another one. Gripping with the flat nose pliers. I'm trying to do this so you can see. Sorry. And then... Sorry near the end, so you've got the smallest little diamond. Upwards, you can slide that little coil over, because this is to avoid the hand coiling of the wire in between, you know how to hand, hand each time. Yeah, I think yeah. Oh, that takes too long. And then, that is nearly there. I so love that even you have short coils. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> and that's round there now. Fab. And then that can go up like that. And I'm just gonna cut that end and you've got the end of the tail. You can wear, weave a gemstone into this little diamond shape if you want, you know. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't matter if you mark here because you colour this, cover this with clay. Cover it with the clay. So this bit, we're going to embed into the tail like that, but we need to make this a bit crinkly so that it stays in the elephant. Okay. So just a couple of little zigzags and then cut that end off because you don't need that long a length. I'll show you it in a minute. That's what you're going to end up with. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, you can leave that as it is, all wired up in gold, or you can cover up that little bit with a bit of, bit of scrap clay. Um, so this is the alternative you can, you can do as well. So I'll just get a bit of clay and wrap it round the tail. I'm just going to stuck a tiny bit of clay and just push it around to make a little... Again, can you see? Can you see? Push it around to make a little tail, like so. 
there. So that's the tail done. Push that away so it's not sort of um, in that little diamond because you don't okay. want that. And that's the bit that's going to be on the show, so you want it a bit smoother. It doesn't matter about the back so much if you're going to put it against a plaque. And then you stick that in to the bottom, like so. Looks okay. a bit painful, doesn't it? But there we go, we've made his tail. And there, that's the tail stuck in there. Fab. So and you know that's going to stay now because you've got that security. Yes, because it's got a zigzag on it. So because you might knock that tail, that's quite important to actually get that um, sorted out. I um, see. And to be in, uh, strong. We've had a few messages in just saying, oh no, I've, I've just missed out. How did we shape the body? Uh, how did we size the body? Well, I have got the answer right here for <laughs> you. The sizing of the body, let me check, was using three three of these of for those mm -hmm. for the body three rounds for the body two rounds for the head and one for the half, both legs half half half, a, half a one for both legs half a one for both legs if you haven't got any cutters at home don't worry because i'm about to bring you a stunning little bargain on this with a baking tray so perhaps you haven't actually done polymer before but you like we've just seen those text messages coming in then like those amazing uh, like uh, absolutely adore her designs and you just want to give it a go yourself now you can because i've got the things to get you really started and on the way so you've got your selection of cutters here you're going to be getting a these will come in a packet uh, you've got your star shape selection and again actually it doesn't matter what shape you use to create the body you could use the stars couldn't you three of each for a body two of each you're just squidging them yeah, think of the things you can do with those um, shapes I mean um, those flower cutters the flower flowers ones. you can just yeah. cut a little flower mm. I'll show me one wow. like that. Um, let's take one and then cut a flower yeah and then you can just pinch it you know, um, pinch it up to make a little flower shape. Oh, just pinching the sides. And pinch it on the sides, and then you get it. Oh, sorry, and I'll give oh, them a smaller one. Yeah. And pinch, um, a little one. one. And then put it in the middle, maybe of a different contrasting colour. Um, oh. Like that. And put it in the middle. Oh, you make it look so much more lifelike just by adding the kind That's of it. the swirls to it, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, then, it's like a water lily. Yeah, I mean, I haven't done this very well. And then you put a bead in the middle. Um, oh, how pretty is that? You shape them. There's so many things you can do with them, actually. Isn't that yeah, really simple? just put a head pin through the middle of them and you can attach them to, to things, you know. Oh. So, that idea yeah. that's mm. so simple isn't it and the thing is with this sort of thing it's done there for you already if you're looking for a professional finish then that's what you're going to get you've got 25 cutters in the teardrop shape the flower shape the heart shape the rounds and the stars as well in all these different sizes you've then also got your baking tray as well it's all yours today for just six pounds and 95 pence and to be honest you couldn't buy those 25 cutters for that price in many many places <laughs> at all could you but 6.95 for 25 cutters and the baking tray as well for any of your polymer creations it's an absolute stunner if you want to get kids involved in polymer this is all that you'll need to really set them on their way it's going to give you a professional finish some symmetry every time all yours for just six pounds and 95 pence loads mm. of you coming in for this congratulations mm -hmm. everyone yeah. Oh look, <laughs> look, that's really simple. That's just using two sizes of and you the stick a, stick a flower head through. Just with and the gem on top. Can, then you can attach it to something. Oh wow, isn't that pretty? Mm. How simple <laughs> have you made that? It's, it's, I love it. Six ninety five bargain price. Loads of you buying this. You're going to have to be quick because already loads of them have gone. Right, next we're going to add a little tusk. So what I've done is pinched off a tiny little bit. I'll do it again. A tiny little bit of clay and rolled it to make a little tiny little tusk okay like so yeah and then you can stick it in onto the onto the elephant just near where the tusk should go and you can use the pokey tool just to make a couple of little indentations in the pattern there so that's the tusk done that's and easy. now we're going to just make some toes and with this, actually, there's nothing to st stop you just cutting off the base of the feet. If they're not quite even, you can cut off the base of the feet a little bit. To make them flat. To make them flat. So there we are. So they can sit flat against our plant that we're going to make later on. Now, using the edges of your pliers, just uh, chain nose pliers. Chain nose. Well, now I've got, you can use fine these lovely fine tip ones. Yeah. One, two, 
three, one, two, three little impressions. Oh. And I'm also going to make an indentation ready for the eye. So using the pokey tool, I'm just going to draw a little eye, like that, like a little eye shape, and then just make a little, like a little indentation in there. Start making an eye, elephant's eye. Okay. So we've got that ready. Now we need to decorate those with head pins. We've got these lovely, lovely head pins. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And we need about nine for each elephant. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to cut some down. Ready. So you don't need that, that length of of head pin. So I'm just going to use the flush cutters and cut a few down. So you're probably cutting about a centimetre down and then obviously keep yeah. those tails. Yes, for, for, for using for links and things, they're silver. So yeah, yeah you've got to keep them. So use those for making links up um, to make a gemstone chain with. Fab idea. Just going to put that away to one side. And just kind of cut a few more so I've got enough to do the decorations on the elephant. Okay. There we are, that's all done. So that's very easy. Now with the chain nose pliers, it makes it much easier to, to place these in place because okay. there's nothing worse than putting your fingers near and making a big fingerprint mark. So print. hold the head, hold the head pin in place and just place it into the eye and then press down. Okay. And then use the pokey tool just to make a little bit of a pattern around the eye, like little pattern around the eye. And this will come out much better when you put the, the powder in a little scrape at the top and a little scrape at the, around so you make the, the eye shape. Yeah. And then you're going to put three toes in. Um, now what I'm going to do is slightly push, play, push the head pin upwards okay. into the elephant rather than straight down because you've just got more clay to go through. Yeah. And just use the pliers just to push in so you're not going to mark the elephant at all. So just pop, put those three toes in. So you're using the section that you did with the chain nose pliers kind of as a guide, aren't you? Pop uh, back into those holes. Yes, it just literally, they're, f they're finer than my fingers. My fingers are very large, yeah. and this is just a finer end. I can see the placement of the, um, the head pin more easily. Um, I won't make a mistake in its placement, and no. also I won't put a great big mark or indentation in for my fingers. Of course. Um, so again, you can see how that's going in. You're just putting it up, almost into sort of in the direction of the body you're poking that in, aren't you? Yes, Slight diagonal. Upwards, um, just to give it a bit more, because I, I didn't want too short a head pin length in case it, they all came out. Of so course. you've got to give enough to give a little bit of um, purchase within the clay. Yeah. I'm just going to squash it down a little bit. There, we've done that. So we've got the toes in, we've got the eye in. So we've got to give him ears and a blanket and other decorations. So we're going to go for that. Now, I don't know whether you um, have got the texture sheet up and up in the show because that's the, I the don't main know. thing. Scott, main do thing we? we need. <laughs> Scott will find out. Um, the, um, There's no stock left of it apparently. It's already flown out. They've got oh none yeah. left. It's the one we need. Oh, is it? <laughs> um, it's called Jeez. Ancient Doodles um, and that's the one we need. There is another one like a Persian carpet you can use instead Fab. as well. But it's got similar things. What's so use one? something. We'll There's you. Persian carpet and Ancient Doodles. If you've got that one um, that's the texture sheet you need. Got sure. that <laughs> um, so, what I'm going to do now is make a blanket up. So I'm going to lay a bit of clay on the on the board, and using um, a section that looks a bit like a blanket. Let's go for this section here, for example, looks great as a blanket. I'm just going to press down. I might need a bigger bit of clay. Bear with me, darling. I'm just going yeah, to no, no problem at all. Just I might to let you it. know that if you do want to get your hands on the cutters uh, with the baking tray at that ridiculously low price of just six ninety-five, you're going to have to be quick because it looks like we've got about ten in baskets. Your names have gone off my screen. I've got so many purchased already, and I've mm. only uh, I've only got forty left, which actually sounds like a lot, but it's really not. I'll be in my last chance saloon once everyone checks. Out. And on the Rachel Norris Indian Elephant Kit, that's at the bottom of your screen currently. Massive saving on that. Should have been uh, over £60. It's yours today for just £39.95. Get it whilst you can. Right, pressing down quite hard with my fingers to get a blanket shape. And we'll get into it. we've got a nice blanket that's shape pretty. with that. It's really beautiful. And then we're going to use... Have I got my hard cutter? Um, yes. And the hard cutter, you need a bit more than the flexible cutter. Okay. I'm going to cut around the edge. Um, if you're, you're making a three-dimensional ele elephant, you can use the blanket 
um, wrapped around the whole body either side but we'll only need a little bit of the blanket and I'll show you how to trim that off. Okay. Leave that bit for later. And just slide these cutters underneath just to bring um, the clay up. Smooth it off with your fingers so you've got a nice smooth edge. Now we've got to lift the elephant up for the first time. <gasps> I'm going to use the hard cutter, the um, firmer of the two of the cutters in the cutter pack. They are great, those cutter packs. I don't know whether you've got um, them um, up up for today, but I sh hopefully That's everybody's, or well, people, have, most people have got them. But if not, look on the website for the three and uh, the blade cutter pack. They are coming up essential. at the bottom of the screen for you in a little bit. That's like pretty minute. So, um, pop the blanket on leaving a little space for envelopment and wrap the, the elephant in his blanket. Oh. There you are. And just make sure you, you press down at the bottom end, press down at the head end. And we're just going to trim off the excess because it's not a three-dimensional one. It's one that's going to sit flat against the body. So turning him over, I'm going to slightly just saw off, gently, just gently saw off the excess. So that you've got a nice smooth back just so it rests yes, properly. Yes, yes. There we go. I'm holding them very gently so it's not oh to, I gosh, might have marked him a little gorgeous. bit in the heat. But that's the elephant up in place now. So we've got his blanket okay. and we're just going to place a few head pins around um, the base of the blanket just as, a, as embellishment. You start in the middle and place one in place. And if you've got any of these uh, little spaces from the um, packs, from the packs, the they go really well. So you can actually put them in as well. If you've got any of those from the findings packs, put idea. them in. They're absolutely wonderful decorations. We might show you that in a minute with the headdress or something. But they are wonderful to add add in as embellish as embellishments. So the embellishments you're putting on now, they almost look like little tassels, don't they? They are the tassels from the blast yes, blanket, they are. So like a ceremonial <laughs> dress, isn't it? And then there's the other, uh, so then go for the other end, and then, then it's easy just to place the, 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 the other beads in the middle. And I've just used two more, but you can use as many as you like in the middle. So I've used basically equidistance between the two, yeah. um, another one in there. So that's the, the blanket decorations. Now we're going to do the ear, the bottom, and the head decorations. Okay. Now to do the um, bottom decoration, there's some circular um, patterns. If not, just cut with your circular cutters and make a little pattern um, in, in a way. If you've got any texture sheet yeah. and then you make a circular cut with one of these little circular cutters, you can make the same shape basically. Oh, okay, so you know, don't, it's not the end of the world if you haven't got this. You know, you can use other texture sheets and just cut the same shapes, the shapes you know, you squares and things like that. So yeah. it's not the end of the world. Um, so pressing down for a circle. I'm going to need two, so I'm going to get one out of the way as well. Another one down. Uh, so I've got two little circles. Um, I might have got the wrong circle out of my... So sorry. The cutters that we're using mm. on this as well, that is one of the smallest cutters from the pack that's, uh, that was on your screen, the 6 dollars one earlier on. So if you got that cutters, you will have the cutters that we're using now available okay. within that pack. If not, I think I must have got the wrong one out. So you're going to be... So, so I'm so sorry. Don't be silly. Are. There we are. That might do. That might be the one. Okay. Oh. Um, so just to to make the back end, um, you basically need to cut round a circle. I'm going to cut that one out as well. So I've got two in case I make a mistake. Okay. Lift that clay out of the way. Use that in a minute. And. Basically, because the back end isn't quite uh, f circular, I'm going to just cut almost like um, a three-quarter moon shape. Okay. Okay, like a crescent. Like sort a of crescent shape. moon, but we're not going to use the crescenty bit. We're going to use the this bit here. So we'll t take the crescent away. We don't need that. We're going to use just that bit. Okay. Um, so you almost make a sort of leaf shape, or yeah. that's a shape. I'm just going to lift the elephant up. Hot studio, sorry. There we go. And then just make sure the edges are smoothed off. Okay. Pop that on the bottom end and you smooth that over to form the, the tail cover and just cut off the excess. There. So you've got the tail covered up now. 
Oh. Now we're going to make the ear and the headpiece. Okay. So, with well, the ear, you just need the circular cutter, one of the little circular cutters from the pack, and take a, a circle. It depends on whether you want to make an Indian elephant or an African elephant, depending on the size of the ears. And Indian elef elephants are meant to have slightly it's smaller small ears, so okay. it's all right. So, one of these small little um, um, shapes is absolutely fine. Pinch the end, and that's the same shape you use to make a petal shape. So it's very similar to that. And then you use the tool. Just make some indentations to make this ear a bit crinkly. Yeah, because otherwise it might look a bit sort of mousy. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, uh, elephants and mice are quite intricately linked in the stories, aren't they? But um, oh, they are. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> so squash this ear. Make this ear. Perhaps I'm going to pat it a little bit to make it flatten. Can you see? Yes. So like that. Tapping so it to flatten it. So it looks a bit more like an like an elephant's ear. Yeah. And then we're just going to make some lines to make some lines for the for the for an elephant's um, wrinkly ear. So. <sighs> That's the next bit, and then what we do is stick that into place just in front of the blanket and just behind the eye, and then again. So it's resting slightly on the blanket, and that just gives it a bit more perch, I suppose, it doesn't it? It really does, Becky. You've got that. You've got it absolutely right there, and just a little bit of indentation there. There we are. That's the ear in place. And then next thing to do is and just check you pressed it down so it isn't going to come off it's got it, it will bake into place once you've got the as long as you press this first the end nearest the head yeah into place it doesn't matter if this is, is a little bit loose it will press into place there we go yeah. and you can just use the, the tool just to slightly oh that's the good idea if you rub some of the marks off you can do that again I suppose that's aging it, but it's also pushing it in a bit more, isn't it's, it? Well, it? It certainly is. Again, you're absolutely God, right there. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing to do is another little circle. I'm just going to place that on top of the head. So again, lifting up the elephant. He's now getting a bit hot in the studio lights, so he's sticking a bit. <laughs> and then place that on top of the head. You can cut that on a, on a smaller, uh, thinner, um, cutting if you like these are all on one but if you want to make this down on a two you can or a three even you can and then what we've got to do is make a triangle shape um, to go down to the front of the the elephant yes so again another bit of clay again, I hope you can see this yeah we can see yeah. that there um, just choose a, so, so anything that would look vaguely like it would would suit becoming a diamond shape so I just just vaguely just gone for a sort of diamond pattern that's in this particular one. Again, the Persian carpets one has different patterns on it. Just as long as you've got something, you can make into a pointy, pointy shape, shape. To, just to, to run down the trunk. Take that away. And then again, all this scrap clay, you're going to be use, able to use it again. All you've done is marked it, made shapes in it. You've not baked it or anything. It's all ready to be used. And then just take a little circular cutter and then just make a little try. I might have taken too much away. Again, it's not the end of the world, but if I've taken too much away, I can just do it again. But yeah, I'll do. And what I'm going to do is just put another, I can put a, a patterned embellishment on that. So that's this little triangle at the front. I wouldn't, shouldn't have cut so much away. It's not, again, it's not the end of the world, but I'm going to put a little pattern in on that one. Okay. So, um, one little head pin, and what we're going to do is put one of these on. It'll cover that bit up nicely. So, again, That's all these clever. things are redeemable. Definitely. Um, I'm just going to take this head pin up, pop it through. If you've got another little space underneath it, yeah. you have to hold all this a little bit more carefully. But pop the head pin upwards, put the spacer on, and then place it in. In. The then it's not there. going to be go off. And you've got that marked in quite nicely. That, that's his, oh, that's so elephant. beautiful, isn't it? Next thing we're going to do is just make the plant to go on it. Have we got enough okay. time for that? Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. We've got a good 12 minutes. Good. good. Just to let you know, though, I've only got seven, 15 of this left. Uh, I've only got 15 of this left. I have got about five people with it in their baskets, which actually means I've only got 10 left, technically. Um, if you're watching at night, do give us another call in if you want to get your hands on this. It's an absolute bargain, gorgeous pieces. Um, and don't forget, Rachel's DVDs are really 
spoon as well. Stay exactly where you are. Next thing we do is lay the elephant on a circle. Now, have you, if you've got the Fat Daddy cutters, yeah. again, those are the things. If not, use a, a glass or a, a tin um, pastry cutter oh, right. for a mince pie. You know, those small mince pie ones. I just yeah. took, that's the size I was using. I think it, uh, it is. That's yeah. The size. yeah, that's right. So just make a circle on a two layers of clay. Two layers, two layers of, of one, clay, of one um, clay. thickness clay, one yeah, thickness. because it's going, you're going to give it quite a good um, base to go on. Like I've been using the, the bronze clay, I didn't clean the cutter. So it doesn't matter because it, it's going to be uh, filled up with mica powders anyway, so it's okay. the end, not the end of the world. So place the elephant carefully. I'm going to have to put my head over, bear with me. So you get place. it in the middle. Yeah. There he is. So he's place. Perfect. So he's going to sit on the on the side and slightly t t um, stick him down. And if you want to do any final smoothing down, and you know marks in again, marks in around to mark his all the little, little wrinkles that elephants have. Yeah. And the last thing we're going to do is just add a strip at the top, strip at the bottom, and then we're going to do the mica powder magic. If you don't mind. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Absolutely. Don't okay. forget, you got two of the mica powders in this kit as well for ninety-five. That's what I'll do. Just in for you. Do keep sending in those messages. Uh, start your text uh, with the word JM Studio, and all you have to do is text sixty triple seven. Um, I've got a very small amount, thirteen. I'm looking for some left of that kit. Inspiration overload. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stephanie yesterday, Alison this morning, and now the amazing Rachel. I'm not sure I can cope. <laughs> JM, you spoil us. Love it. I know. Beverly, it's shocking, isn't it? We have had so many goodies on today. Um, spoiling us <laughs> with these you. designs, Thank definitely, you. Rachel. Oh, that's, that makes it all worth it to just get that response. It just really does. That's yeah, good. Does that's good. Loads oh. of messages coming in. Keep those coming in. If you've got any questions, we'll get them to Rachel later. <laughs> now, what I've done is cut, um, got chosen two strips. And again, whatever texture sheet you use, just two, two nice straight strips along. OK. Um, one for the, the base of the, where the elephant's going to be walking on and one for the sort of sky. I loved that message then. <laughs> Who is that from? <laughs> Oops. OMG. Another <laughs> one. I will say it again. OMG, Rachel. But I expect nothing more. Oh. <laughs> I am mesmerised. <laughs> that is from Very Emily. Fine. I've never seen so many kisses, Emily. <laughs> I, I do put lots of kisses in my messages, so hopefully. Do you? <laughs> I probably irritate everybody doing that, but it sort of it kind of ends the sentence nicely. Oh, loads of kisses! Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> just like. keep your finger on there until you get bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, I often have sort of six or seven hundred sort of notifications, and you're, you're. I just want to try and answer everybody. Yeah, of course. Um, so uh, we've got a strip for the top and strip for the bottom because it, I wanted to make it almost like an Indian temple plaque, as I say. You know, among those carvings. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to put that there. Across. So again, so I'm leaning over no, don't worry. there, and then another one at the base, so he's, he's got something to stand on. And then, just this is the slightly difficult bit, because you can see where I've got it wrong in some of the photographs, that I haven't held this down while I put the cutters in. You know, the pl if this isn't stuck properly, it'll pull up and pull away and not be straight. Okay, you can I see, see where I've done that when I haven't got it right. So no, I can't, but <laughs> perfectionist, you can see it, can't you? <laughs> so again, round with that circle cutter, in again. And then what you have to do is slightly keep the pressure down on the. That one's distorted a little bit, so I'm going to pull up. So I, I'm, you can't That's see, but I'm just. No, don't worry. You're explaining it perfectly. Basically, this bit has just come up a bit, so make sure we pull that back up so it's straight as possible. I see. So now we're going to put. We've got the, the pendant done, and it's, it's wow. lovely in the black. But I want to do some mica magic on it and create this beautiful sort of effect and show you what you can do with the mica with the powders. Mic powders. Now you've got a choice actually with the mediums here that JM sell. We well, have a choice to put mica powders on or use your gleams. And okay. the, the mica powders are put on before baking yep. and the gleams are put on after baking. Okay. And you can produce slightly different effects. I've got some pieces made with um, the gleams just to show you. That's the effect with gleams. Whoa. Um, but you get a, a more intense metallic cover 
into the cracks and crevices yeah. with the mica and that makes such a difference when you want to produce a completely metallic look whereas if here I've picked out textures and got a black sort of essential black background coming through that's perfect um, with mica pad you can just fill in everything and have a completely have the whole metallic piece look yeah so metallic. you can achieve these different looks and things and there's nothing to stop you putting gleam on afterwards why not of everything. course I'm just going to pick up this um, it goes everywhere, the powder. Okay. Bear with me, I'm just going to clear no this problem. slightly away. Uh, don't forget that you did get the two mica powders, the three blocks of polymer, the three genuine gemstone strands, all of those pieces of 925, gold plated and rose gold plated, and a massive amount, 70 metres worth of wire in this kit with over 16 saving. Now, at the moment, it says 13 on your screen, but realistically, once people check out, I will have seven left and that will be it so now is your last opportunity I know most people like to wait until the end of the demo and then go oh yes now I'll do it don't risk it at this moment in time just check out now to be sure um, again I drill holes in for the bales after um, baking it's something I forgot to say okay. and add a bale in but one of the other pieces here if I just want to show you very quickly you can make little loops and embed it in the clay okay so embed that between the two layers so weave loops you can either use very simple loops or wow. um, woven loops like this to make it look really sort of a bit more you know um, and then you can embed that in the clay before baking so you don't have to add the bale in afterwards, afterwards so you good. can do that as well just to show you you know there's so many possibilities of working yeah. with the clay so um, using these wonderful, I use this because it's great, you can wash it afterwards and you can li to lift it to the sink, wash all the powder off and you haven't made all your surfaces messy. messy and me. um, some people recommend um, using a mask, I like one of those builder's masks, if you're using a lot of it yeah. because it's a fine powder, yeah. um, but if you're just using it once, to be honest, it's fine, it's boring, okay? but I would, if you're using a lot of it, I would actually recommend using a little builder's mask. Are you putting some blusher on? Because <laughs> makeup brushes are so soft, you're not going to disturb the surface of the clay too much um, really and you can brush on tip. so I've just got a set of makeup brushes and they're also really good when you you've got to glaze mica powder afterwards when yep. it's done yeah um, because um, that's what you're going to end up with oh gosh actually I've got to show you <laughs> <Da -da>. why are <laughs> you hiding that one <laughs> because you, I want to show you the, the yeah powder. perfect great yeah. um, so here's the gold I'm going to put some gold a little bit of gold on the brush Look at and this. you can start to brush it on wow um, and and you can see because you're using a makeup brush you can get into crevices and you're not going to hurt what you've made because it's so delicate it's so delicate yeah and you know you do a little blow with it with the, just to blow the excess away it's amazing mm. how metallic that goes just it's instantly beautiful isn't it? it looks like liquid gold it's so beautiful it's, it's just a, the powder looks totally different to what you're right to what um what has gone on and when you put it on different base colors of clay as well it looks a bit different isn't this it? is it exactly what you can see here some of it, you've got three different colors of clay in the pack yeah so you can experiment with the different effects this can have I'm like going to put a bit of the copper on as well so you can see the effect of the little bit of the brush of the copper along the edges just to add a bit of sort of oh, I don't know different color some through. heat to it doesn't yes it? and that will go with the pink gemstone so again you, you can don't have to coat the whole thing you've got a really beautiful effect in there oh I've not just trunk, um, trunk if that happens sometimes the mica powder can be difficult to stick things back on yeah not the end of the world okay. um, if any of you have got bacon bond um, I've got I just happen to have um, liquid sculpey Okay, yeah. But if you've got bacon bond, it does the same sort of thing. It does the same thing. You can work um, it in the same it's way. It's the same stuff. Okay, okay, so more or less. And you just put a tiny blob on. Oops. A little oh blob. God. little blob. <laughs> well, not, 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 not like that. Disaster. I should have put that on my finger first. Okay. And then put that back on using the, pli the pliers very, very gently. Put that back on again. And that'll be fine, that'll right? That'll be it? fine. And you could yeah. even do that after baking, couldn't you? Exactly. If something falls, if that falls off and you've, you've gone and baked it, oh no, it's come off. It's a bit of bacon fixable. bond and then you can put it back on again. So yes, that's, yeah, blobbed everywhere. So there we are. That's the task. That's the elephant done. Oh, He's wow. all ready for baking. Wow. Um, Isn't that yeah. astonishing? Yeah. He looks so <laughs> gorgeous. He looks so expensive. And Thank rich, you. he really, really does, and it just highlights that 925 beautifully. Those colours, Mica. Um, well, it does because you've got the gold in there, you've got the glitter. The, this will stay. Um, these will stay so so shiny. This is a kind of um, one I've made up um, with just the gold on the black. 
and there's a totally different effect adding in the copper really and also is. I haven't put as many layers on I mean, you can literally add on layers and layers and layers and layers and increase the intensity of this mica powder and really build it up um, as much as possible to get that effect now you need to keep that effect it'll come off if you don't coat it with anything afterwards of course. there are lots and lots of different products on the market um, and I've got lists of them okay. um, but you can use as um, can I say the products so is, is it something I don't know Scott. you do need to cover them with a, with a glaze after Where's Scott gone? Yeah. right I've just asked you a question <laughs> can she Scott? Yeah, go for yeah. it. He says go it's for studio, it. It's Studio Sculpey Satin to create a satin effect. Okay. And there's something called Derwy Vernis. Okay. Um, and I can give people details if they want to find Brilliant. out what it is. Yeah. It's a really, really, we're hoping to bring something like that to JM in the future. Oh, okay. yeah, I've got to do the back of it as well. Um, and because you've got to seal that mica powder into place. You see, look at that. I mean, it's, got, it's just, it's just literally then like, like beaten, beaten metal. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely effect, oh, and that's so with the nice. copper, and then you can swirl it all in and increase the intensity of that colour, and then just bake it as it is. Make sure the edges are done, of course. Sorry, not professional. Edges are done, got to be done as well, and then that's all ready to go into the into the oven, ready to cook. And to cook. that <laughs> is that. I can't believe you've managed to create something so stunning, so beautiful. In that like, 45 minutes. Thank that you. is Thank astonishing. You. It really, really is. Rachel, you are genuinely so inspirational. And do not worry, Rachel is going nowhere. Give us a little clue as to what to expect for your second design of um, inspiration. It's a Kefalopod. It's, but, uh, it's a Bond movie title. Um, um, stuff like that. Yeah, it's I love got eight that. legs. Okay, <laughs> he's giving it side. away now. <laughs> uh, we are coming back with Rachel very, very soon. After the break, I have got they a stunning <laughs> strand of Ruby for you. And I've got the Rachel Norris collection. Join me after this. Jewelry makers, if you're a Freeview viewer, you can now continue to watch the show live by switching over to Channel 64. Our brand new 24 hour channel is available to the majority of homes in the UK. So grab your remote now to make sure you don't miss a thing. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. To use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then the certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Ruby is a red member of the Corundum family and is often given as a gift to show the strength of one's relationship. Its rich, vivid red colours are due to the presence of chromium, and its almost identical twin sister, the sapphire, is similar in all but colour. Ruby shows pleochroism, which means that the colour varies when viewing the gemstone in different directions and many can appear incredibly bright when exposed to the sun. 
offer an incredible selection of rubies from all over the globe, stay tuned to us. This is your opportunity to get your hands on that gemstone. One of the big four, one of the most sought after gemstones in the world, and one of the best qualities I've seen. This ruby has got that archetypal, that sought after, that sensational, rich ruby red that can only be delivered in such a form when it is natural, just like this gemstone is. Natural ruby is such a rarity. Natural ruby in this form is so rare that it's guessed, it's estimated that around 99.5% of all ruby on the market is treated. 99.5% of ruby on the market has a treatment. That's a astonishing amount, isn't it? It truly is mind-boggling. So this gemstone here that we have is natural. So that already means that it's up there in the 0.5, half a percent of the gemstone ruby on the market that is natural. That is it. Now, when you think about treatments that have happened on gemstones, we always say treatments are fine and they absolutely are. Things like dyeing of gemstones is absolutely fine because, you know, it, it's, it's not too intrusive and it gives you a certain look to a gemstone that means you have a better variety of things. Sadly, with Ruby, a lot of the treatments that take place on Ruby are massively intrusive. They truly, truly are. Very rarely will you see, see a dyed Ruby. There's often no need. Very rarely will you see, say, a coated Ruby, which again is an absolutely fine treatment to have. Very, very rarely. No, very, very rarely. With Ruby, though, one of the main treatments is filling. That is a very intrusive, time-consuming um, treatment. And actually, very rarely is it a positive. The reason being, why do we fill ruby? Sometimes we fill ruby because we can't find decent enough quality. It's as simple as that. I know that that sounds really bad, but it's completely true. Sometimes we fill it because we can't find great enough quality. And sometimes we'll find bits of ruby that you think, if I put a drill hole through that, it's gonna smash in half because there's loads of inclusions. It's not even holding together at all. I'm gonna fill it. And what do we fill it with? We fill it with glass. We fill it with a lead-based glass and that means it holds together. Another reason that a lot of ruby, 99.5% around of ruby in the world nowadays is, um, is filled, is because it gives it a bit of a, a nice glow, it, it intensifies the color, it gives it a bit of transparency to it. Now, the, itch, the situation and the issue with that is that you aren't Actually, if we take it down to the bare bones of it, you don't actually own 100% ruby. You own ruby with a bit of glass and lead, don't you? Realistically, it's great that we're able to fill ruby sometimes because it does mean that you're able to get more. If we weren't able to fill ruby, then that would essentially mean you would have a tiny portion of ruby on the market. It'd be so, so expensive because hardly anyone would be able to own it. So it's great that we have the technology now to do that, to, to fill it. But if there's people who just want We've only managed to get in yesterday. We had a shipment come in yesterday. And this time, again, because of the rarity and because of the quality, we haven't been able to get 100 again. We've only been able to get 50 this time. 
I'm going to honour the prize that you saw it at last time when we had 100, which actually we probably shouldn't, to be honest, because usually if we've got a smaller portion, of course, if you've got a smaller portion, generally you'd expect the prize to be up, wouldn't you? But we're honouring it. You have got your chance to own Totally Natural, one of the big four, one of the gemstones of the world, £49.95. That is so, so special. You're going to be owning a totally natural heirloom. You're going to be owning around 0.5% of natural ruby that's on the market now. It is astonishing that I'm able to offer that to you at this price point. You are getting 100% ruby with each one of these gems. There's no lead in there. There's no glass in there. This hasn't gone through irradiation. This hasn't been filled with anything. It's just 100% mother nature, polished, shaped, drilled for you at £49.95. Genuinely, when we are dealing with natural ruby, you're generally going to be looking at a price hike of around 60%, aren't you? Usually, the fact of the matter is you've got it at an astonishing price point here for the quality of this. It's almost got that star ruby feel to it, hasn't it? It really has. Rachel, ruby, three words, discuss. Oh, um... Berries, uh, red currants, red currant berries, uh, opulence. Um, oh, uh, I love history. that. Why, op oh, why opulence? <laughs> oh, well, it's one of the big four. Opulent makes you look feel rich and and um, it has a rich colour to it. Um, it has a very passionate colour to it as well. It so. really is, isn't it? Now, I know that you like to work with a massive yeah. variety of mm. gemstones. What about rubies? When you've got this amount, because this is a really lengthy strand, would you? is it one that you'd savour oh, or is it one that you'd just have a go with straight I, away? Do you know what? I haven't got a strand of plain rounds because it's actually quite rare to get them in these little perfect rounds. You're absolutely get them right. Dale, you get them. But those rounds, you can use them, you can use them in a lot more, in a huge variety of different ways. Um, again, <laughs> uh, for example, pop it in the, um, a peacock uh, design like this. Um, you know, you can put those little beads in as, as eyes of creatures. Um, for the centres of, of flowers. Perfect size. Down. Oh, goodness. This is on the DVD. Yes. We'll show you that. Just show you that. I mean, that, that's enough, really. I mean, again, you can use those, well, I mean, there's details within frames to keep them. Um, uh, because the, the wire, so your eyes really drawn. Yes, you can get you. Can, yes, you're also protecting them within a frame of of large gauge wire because the point two five and the point four will probably go through them, and then you can frame them within the within the one mil, for example. I adore that idea. I've only got 29 left now. Now I've not got my ruler of truth. I think the ruler of truth is on holiday. I've got his friend. I'm not sure how I feel about him. Who's this? <laughs> He's still true. Let's have a look. What What is our average gemstone strand length? We generally say it's around the 30 centimetres as an average because we have some that are, well, you know, 13, 14 centimetres long, but then we have some that are more than that, don't we? So our average really is 30 centimetres. Ruby, strand of genuine, natural ruby, 30 centimetres is here. You're getting on this strand around. <gasps> no way. Oh, I can't wait this ruler out. Hang on. Gosh, I'm being thrown off by a ruler. What's that? That's an extra 10. That's an extra 10, 11 centimetres, isn't it? You're getting around 40 centimetres worth of genuine ruby that is astonishing just to let you know i have got five in baskets i've got 27 of these left once these are gone they are gone because for find this quality at this price point it does not happen daily it doesn't even happen bi-monthly it really doesn't 27 left it's the only ruby rounds that we have at all on our website very rare do you get such a workable strand of such luxury well done to everyone who's managed to get that truly an absolute absolute gem gems of distinction strand at that price point and that quality now have you ever thought wouldn't it be nice to have rachel norris in my house wouldn't it be nice to have her for hours and hours 
think my husband thinks that sometimes because he doesn't see very much of me. Oh, <laughs> bless! Well, he can get the DVDs. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Exactly. You can have that on. <laughs> this is the first time ever you have got the opportunity to own this. The Rachel Norris Triple Edition Collection. Take a little look at these DVDs I have got to offer you today. They are astonishing. Now, we have got so many of these wonder, oh my goodness, look at all these pieces. <laughs> well, now, it's three DVDs, it's not, it's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight well, hours. It's eight, eight hours, hours worth and of DVD. Each one of those pieces is is a, um, a day. Some pieces take a week to make, for example. Yeah. But you know, you'd make one of these in a, in a class with me for a day, for example. So, even though it's an hour DVD, it, it's actually more of a teaching class that would, it would normally take longer to teach that in a class. Yeah, so the course. value you're getting in that hour is actually a almost a day of teaching. Yeah, of course, to be honest. because you've got so, so much in there. Yes, yes, it would take me a day to teach, what, or a morning, say, to, oh, to teach uh, the bird, uh, yeah. for example. Um, so, and that's just done in, a, that's done in a half hour slot, but that would take you know, four, three to four hours to teach, for example. It, so I think, I think it's, it's great value for money, isn't it? Give essence of myself, in, because I can't, couldn't run workshops for a long time. Um, I thought this is the best thing I could do to put it all down there for everybody. It's a wonderful format that you've done it in, it truly is. I've got edition one through three for you today. Now I'm gonna give you a heads up straight away. I'm gonna do a discount. I've only got 50. Um, already there's lots of these going. I'm really sorry, you've never seen this before and the reason is generally what will happen is we'll try and order them all in in one collection but then maybe we won't be able to get our hands on some or, or possibly won't be able to get them all in at the same time so we've never been able to see this before and we might not again, we've literally just hit it lucky this time to be able to get all three for you. I'm going to be doing you a discount, I'll show you the price it should be. £52.85 and pence. it should be. It's not going to be today though. Your price, we're going to do a discount. Rachel Norris in your own house. £42.85 <laughs> for you today. That is all you are paying. This is your edition one, two, and three in here today. So you've got in this your beautiful collection. You've got um, edition three, which of course your water. You've got edition one, which is the beauty of nature. It's the ones with all the it's flowers. Earth. It's earth. And the that's earth, really. I, I did obviously. That's yeah. the other side side of things. Absolutely. Um, mm. So talk to us about these three and which ones, you know, for you, why they work so well together um, and what development they are. Well, I think the first one, um, you're teach I'm teaching flat weaves, but you can use them to make into three-dimensional shapes, for example, like the, the rose and, and also leaves. People, f um, leaves, technically, some people find leaves a little bit daunting, but yeah. I've talked you through how to make a, um, a reali realistic looking wire leaf. The dragonfly is one of the first projects, and that's a lovely, easy first project to, to work through. It gives you um, way, um, frame forming without too much, sort of, too much to do, and then it, you've got the first sets of weaves, and you've got a beautiful formed little creature. Yes. Um, and then you can you can build up those um, uh, pieces into large statement pieces, like Stephanie Eddy does, for example. Yeah. And it, like I do with these, or we can use the individual elements on their own, little brooches. Um, I haven't had a chance to dig everything out. They're all in the boxes, um, but the peacock brooch for example, is a single in individual element. I mean, that's why addition two is the sort of quiet one of the three. It's got smaller projects in. They're not the big shouty projects of the other, the other two. No. And, and the smaller, more involved, building up to three-dimensional designs in my own way. Different, uh, Alison Terry builds up her three-dimensional forms in, in Alison Terry's amazing style. Yeah. And I just built them up in a different, it's a different way it's of building up these three-dimensional forms. It, isn't it? And then I progress on. Um, I've got. I'm wearing the fish necklace, which I think is just. I I wear this um, all the time actually. This I piece. I love and, that. Piece. Um, and that's one of the pieces you'll learn to make in the in the, the in third the, one. Yeah. And it's a tremendous um, 
uh, value actually to get all three together like this, you, uh, ref I refer back to the first and second DVDs uh, or editions when I'm in the third. So you do need all three and it's tremendously valuable to have all three to work through. Um, how exciting actually to be able to own all three actually and work through them. And I just look forward to um, seeing what people have made. I'm happy to support if people have any issues or um, feel they got stuck on a, on a certain shape of something. Again, as I said before to Carol this morning, if you take a photograph of the stage you've got to and say, yeah. where do I go next? I'm happy, just even, even with just one line of support, just to say, yeah, you're fine, keep on going, or just tweak it here. I'll, I'm there, I'll try my best to help. Isn't so, that so wonderful? Isn't so just find me on Facebook, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, I need to let you know, though, that uh, it says 25 on screen, it's actually trying to catch up. I've got way over half my stock gone. I've got about nine possibly in baskets. I am heading really, really fast to my single figures now. And I need to let you know that first off, uh, one of these DVDs alone is 19.95. So the fact that you're getting a discount and all three for just 42.85 is astonishing, isn't it? But also need to let you know that Truly, the amount I've got in this show now, that is it. It's just fluke that I've managed, we've managed to get these three in at the same time, but I've only got this amount of opportunities. Uh, need to let you know, I'm easy busy uh, heading towards my single figures really, really quickly now. There is a slight cue on the phone, but we will be with you. And look at these pieces. Wouldn't you adore to know how to make these pieces? Let me show you this one. I'm running out of hands here, but I just need <laughs> to show you this. Look at how beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm trying the bird. How stunning. Wouldn't you love to be able to have some inspiration, have some step-by-step -step help without the price of going to a class or without the effort actually of, you know, sometimes traveling somewhere can be, you know, a bit of a pain, can't it? But for 42 pounds and 85 pence, you have got hours and hours and hours worth. And these, don't forget, are multi-disc DVDs, aren't mm. they? Yes, the first one has two hours in, and I'm quite amazed how much we actually got into that one, actually. Yeah. Um, and the, uh, the other two are three hour, or three discs in them. So I've spent longer, actually, in fact, on the projects um, to try and talk through in more detail as, um, you know, a bit more footage on each technique, yeah. for example, just helps a little bit more when you're watching something to pick it up. So we went, we went on it over and a bit longer for those. In fact, actually, I'd originally shot it all to be one, and we just found we had so much footage. Again, that's why I had to divide them into air and water. Um, because we had so much footage, we were going to put it all on one, which we just thought, oh, we just can't actually do that. No, of course, there's absolutely yeah. so, so much. There really is. Uh, need to let you know that I've got so few left now. I truly, truly do. Um, people are checking out their baskets. Uh, Tink, check out my little love. Uh, Steph, uh, Stefan and Stephen, you check out. Uh, Susan, Karen, Joan, uh, there's loads of you with it in your baskets. Just keep checking out for me because this is going to be your only opportunity. How long have we had Rachel Norris with us? We've had her here such a long time. We've had her inspiration, her ideas, her designs for such a long time. And this is the first time we've ever had the collection all in one place. Mm. Do you know what? At this point, with this discount, we do not discount these DVDs, do we? We just don't. This is your only chance as well. Even if you've already got one of these, that doesn't matter. Keep the other two for yourself. Give one as a gift. Give one to a friend who's Christmas maybe just starting yeah. jewellery making. Yeah. Why not at that price? £14.95. You have got step-by-step -step tuition by the absolutely legendary and so multi-talented, gorgeous Rachel Norris. Take her home today. £42.85. <laughs> lots and lots. Or you can learn to make every single one of these designs that you're seeing. And that's the thing. I think sometimes when you look at things like that, you think, oh my goodness, I could never do that. These have been specifically designed so that you at home can do that. I also put a gizme technique in on there. There's the clasps. And in fact, if you look at the back, there's a bee. Uh, there's a bee. There's flying bird brooches. Um, there's also an extra one of a leaf leaf bangle in, in on addition to, because we had nowhere else to put it, so we'll put, we'll put it there. Um, because literally, I wanted to pack as much in to each DVD as possible. 
Um, again, those can all be made individually. Each a rose can be made individually, a flower, um, a leaf, a butterfly. They can all be little individual brooches or items or something you can weave into another piece. If you've got a beaded piece or um, a crocheted piece or something else like that, you can actually put a bit of wire in. I saw what Stephanie did yesterday, for example. She had the Viking knit beautiful swirls of, of things with dragonflies on it. So why not make some dragonflies and put them into your design um, that you've made and weave them in. That's such a lovely idea. How simple as well. Um, just to let you know, actually, technically, this is a sellout now because I've just counted and I've got 12 in baskets, but I've only got 11 left. So, <laughs> well done to everyone who's managed to get this. You are going to have these winging their way to you very, very soon. And we have had a launch of Rachel Norris's wonderful DVD, The Artisans, today. Um, are we doing that now, Producer Scott? Why not? <laughs> We're okay. gonna a whammy of uh, DVDs for you. I'll take um, those away and I'll bring those over. Oh yeah, go Should on. Should we do a little change over? Should we do a little switcheroo? <laughs> yeah. We're switching my gig. There you go. And that might need to be turned around a little bit and I'll take those away. And then we've got the... Now, earrings <laughs> are a funny one, aren't they, Rachel? Because <laughs> earrings for me, you can make earrings very easily and a lot of people at home will start making mm. earrings. But then you can go about five steps further and create things like this. What it is, I felt that earrings have been a bit neglected. I mean, yeah. we've done rings, we've done bangles, we've done pendants, and everyone just, oh, um, and necklaces, because they're easy to make, make focal pieces to make big dramatic things on air. And of course, I always make necklaces and things. Of course. I just felt, oh, we must make some earrings. And these also um, work through um, quite, really quite, easy techniques right. and I lay teach layering of, of pieces, um, do it slightly different weaves but nothing too complicated. Um, I use round beads which are easily available and you don't have to worry about placement and um, orientation yeah. um, and to create these effects and they can also be made into pendants if somebody feels they're too big for their ears, why not make this into a little pendant? Um, it would be so easy for a little, for a I'm young sad. girl or teenager, yes, and to make a slightly bigger piece version for a pendant, it's so easy to convert it into into that. So I felt that they were, and also, I try to make them as different styles as possible, obviously, um, and, you know, they all look different. Um, we've got Aztec designs, we've got almost like a Greek Grecian Roman design yeah. and I wanted to get an art deco almost like a little moth or um, without it being ov obviously like a moth that feeling of of um, a li uh, living creatures that that um, art deco style embodied I know, so I see the kind of fluidity to movement of yes. natural life yes you have got this DVD today. You know our price of DVDs. It's just four pounds and ninety-five pence. Talk to me a little bit about why you were so passionate about showing this variety because they're all very wearable. Oh, but, um, but well, stunning. I well, I wanted to make them fun to make so that people actually want to make them. Yeah. Um, if you've got something that oh, you know you've seen before, I mean, I know some, uh, you know, some of the designs you do see designs maybe a bit more like this one around, um, but I've tried to make it my own um, and to, to split split the the design and bring up um, little curves and cur curly cues around the place so you can see it to make make your own piece. That's definitely, these are, these are totally individual. I don't know why they came out like they did, but they just did, and I was really happy with them. I had an idea in my mind, and they, they just they just came out. So inspiration, I don't know. They just they just happen, actually. They almost <laughs> led you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought, um, I don't know even how I, I how they actually were even, even originated in my mind. They just came. They just and that's there. what's so unique about you. It really is. There is a slight cue on the phone. I'm going to be honest. I've got hundreds and hundreds of these already gone. Your names have gone off my screen twice, and that means I can't see any more names. All I've been told is that hundreds of these have already gone. Do be quick. It is the first day of its outing. Can I ask mm. you, whereabouts do we need to be with Wireworks to be able to create this? Um, well, this one, I would, I would say beginner might be a bit you know but why not have a go because it doesn't matter if it's not perfect first time and these are just jump rings made together this is just these are just arrow shapes and different ways of wiring in I just teach you how to attach them okay. so I would say beginners who've had a little bit of experience 
um, will be able to, att to attempt and not worry if they're not perfect first time and if it is then be proud of themselves. Um, wow. but start with that one first of all because I think that's the easiest one to start off with and then you can choose either of those. I think probably that one next and then that one. Um, and make them. I also teach how to make a little, a little section on making shepherd hooks properly, mm. um, how to round them off properly, how to shape them, um, how to make them standard sizes and um, also so you can have them in your matching wire colour. Um, I know that we sell earring hooks in the the many different colours but not all of them so if you've got want to actually bring up the whole design into with green and pinks and, and other colours you can actually you can incorporate the hook in there too. That's wonderful. I just want to let everyone at home see a full 360 of these because every single one of them is perfect front and back. Is that really important um, for you when it comes to yes. Earrings yes, because and pieces. if you've got your hair up, you're going to see the back of the earring. Um, again, Definitely. with this one, this one, you, it doesn't show so much on the back, but there's nothing to stop you running through the same techniques that I did on the front to actually to embellish Took it on the back in exactly the same way. And so you've got a double-sided one, so don't you know rule out that one. You can Very actually do that too. Very clever. This one definitely is. It, it can be. Um, it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't it's matter actually which way, does it? With because these, as you, as you wear the earrings, they don't. They are seen from the back as well. You actually see someone from from behind with the hair up, and you'll you want to see the. Um, these are sort of quite big impact pieces. You'll want to be able to see the beauty of them from from, from all angles. From really. all yeah. over, especially with these ones. Mm. Earrings, you're completely right. It's something that I think you can do really basic things quite mm. quickly and easily, yeah. but I think you do need a helping hand when you're creating beautiful artisan pieces like this. And You've got it right here. Rachel Norris's DVD, yours today, just £4.95. It's an astonishing price. There's loads of you uh, with this. Congratulations. It will wing its way to you very shortly. Do you enjoy making the DVDs? Um, yes. Do you know what I do? There's an enormous amount of preparation. You wouldn't believe actually how much preparation because you know, you've got to pack in, in an hour, um, something that's taking you a day to make or something, yeah. for example. Yeah. And so I've got um, six or seven, I mean, just like the DI shows, you've got six or seven different stages um, all made up. So you've got to make it seven times. And by that time, you're slightly... <laughs> Do <laughs> lally. <laughs> um, um, so, but... Yes, so yes, there's an amount Because you like work passing there, on obviously your knowledge, so mm. is it quite a nice way for you to yes, know that people are, you're helping people? It's an achievement, to be honest. I mean, how in my fourth, I mean, I'm going to be um, uh, an elderly lady next year, so I'm going to be half a century, you know, whatever. And one of those big numbers. And who would have thought, um, you know, you change careers in a way or, or bring in another element to your career? In my 40s, basically, yeah. to um, and also have a have a have a baby and wow. have a jacket at 45, and then and then also then then start a jewellery maker. Wow, you see, Amazing, and who'd have it? thought that? How I wouldn't have thought thought I'd ever ever have been. I'm very I was terrified as a as a teenager. I'd have been stuck in the corner, yeah, not what saying a word to anybody. And I here I am. Oh God, you know, on television. And people talking. have now got you um, in their home. <laughs> and I've got I'm actually. I mean, I'm actually sort of done something that somebody else wants to know about and yeah thank you <laughs> it's amazing and boy people do want to know just look at all of those names it's absolutely astonishing you can't even see the amount because I only get two columns and it's run out uh, the names are just going crazy you are going to get this wonderful DVD you're gonna get the stunning Rachel and um, you're gonna get to learn how to make these pieces I'll be honest with you 2,000 of these are started off with I've got over half my stock gone. Gosh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> over a thousand gone. So don't angle about. Get yourself on the phone. 0800 644 I'll get a copy. <laughs> I'll try and get one when I get home. Well, I'm not sure if you're able to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. these, lovely Thank lady. You. We're back over to Rachel Norris in moments, actually. <laughs> um, do stay on the phone lines for this. I know there's a queue. I'm really sorry about that. We'll get to you. We really, really will. And it's well worth the wait. Now, let's have a little look at a bundle now, shall we? Let's have a look at these beautiful. I can't think of a time I've seen a, a plain bicone like this of this size. 
Have a little look for yourselves. Aren't they just epic? The clarity is stunning. These ones here are your beautiful clear quartz bicones, plain bicones, and they are eight by six mil that we have here. I love bicones. There, I've said it. The reason being the way that they join together, the way they interlink, the way they move is just unlike any other. You can do beautiful beady beads with this. You can do stunning clustering. You can actually do some quite Aztec-like designs with these simply by kind of interweaving and interchanging them to give them lots and lots of texture, layering them up. Um, oh, what's that? What's that game show where the board look like this? Blockbuster, yep. You could do that kind of look with these, with that kind of interlinked adjoining pieces. I just adore a plain bike. I don't think we have them in often enough, but you've got plenty here. I'm going to be guessing a 45 centimetre strand there. Uh, you've definitely got 90 carats worth. You're then getting these tiny 3 mil white quartz, 25 carat rounds. These are going to be beautiful on a bead loom, aren't they? They're going to be gorgeous as a little accent to um, some of your designs. You know that peacock, the, that beautiful Rachel Norris just had? Wouldn't they be lovely in there if you wanted to do maybe a subtle peacock with those just in the tail? That way it's going to go with absolutely everything you wear, isn't it? Love that. And then you've got these quite chunky, sizable quartz faceted around. These are your white coloured quartz. 155 carats worth of these and they are 7 mil rounds. I adore these together. Bridal trio we have here. Oh, don't tell Sheila. Um, she would absolutely love these wouldn't she? Uh, £16.85 pence is your should be price. Today though, it's nowhere near. We're going down. Down. £10.95. Now think about this. Quartz, I know we see it quite a bit. We really do. But do me a favour. Just remind yourself. Refresh your memory. The price of quartz everywhere else. Go down. Have a little look on the internet. Go down your local high street. Remind yourself. Look in the jeweller store windows. Have a look at the price of a quartz pair of earrings. A pair of quartz earrings on the high street you'll be paying more for than you are the price of a whole three trio set strand on this today remind yourself I know it's easy to get used to our prices especially if you've been with us a long long time but just refresh your memory check our competitors on the website have a little look in your local stores your local craft shops and remind yourself this is your trio of quartz at an astonishing price just £10.95 it is truly truly wonderful go for bridal go for your headwear what about these in the gorgeous just tiara piece that would be sensational wouldn't it and let's face it with this color palette as well these are going to be the ones that go with everything sometimes it's nice to create really big bold colorful pieces but sometimes you just want a subtlety sometimes you just want something to highlight but not distract sometimes you want just a little touch of cool chic that's what you have got here in abundance. £10.95. pence. What do you think of these three together? They, 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 they are exactly what you say. De delicate, subtle. Um, they can, you know, new, new, not quite nude tones, but they go in, say, you're, you're, what you're wearing, mm. for example, it would go really well in with that because yeah. the, your dress has um, got a bold pattern and print. You can take um, the beads, um, the gemstones there. If you put them up, against your neckline now it would tone in perfectly because it would step back a little bit and that dress dress um I know a bit. exactly what you mean I really mm. really do let's have a little look oh let's yeah see. Let's see. yes mm. now the good thing with this as well is it's graduating in colors uh, mm. sorry sizes yes do you work do. that way yes, quite often I I like um so I, I, again, I, I like working with different colours, but actually working in a single colour palette is tremendously, um, it takes the stress out of it sometimes because you're just literally then looking for shapes um, and textures and other things and you're, then you can just concentrate on the effects that they can provide. That's a really good point to make actually, mm -hmm. you're right, because this together, they just work, don't they? 
Mm. It's like the work's been done for you almost. They just work together perfectly, but they're going to work with everything else too. It has got that chameleon effect to it, it truly has. £10.95 for you today, that's your prize for your bridal trio. It's sensational, isn't it? YXGC91, that's your code. All three strands of genuine quartz for just £10.95. It's a stunning deal. It truly, truly is. Get your hands on it whilst you can. <laughs> Say it to me again. Really? <laughs> no one else, no one else knew that joke because no one else heard it. There's a bundle with wheels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. The colours on these are I don't know, they're, they're party, they're uh, holiday, they're deep, rich, elegant. These are good. Look at this strength. The fire within that beautiful appetite is astonishing, isn't it? You can see it's all meal on those strands. And then lastly, but by no means leastly, your genuine garnet. Not often do we have this most luxurious of gemstones on with this amount. 60 carats worth we have of this faceted beauty right now. Lengthy strands, every single one of these. The quality is so exquisite. It is marvellous. The internal glow of that um, beautiful appetite is just a bewilderment, isn't it? It truly is. The appetite itself, with that deep richness in tone, which quality literally just bedazzles in front of you with that shiller, that sheen, with the beautiful blues coming around. And then, last but by no means least, the garnet with that archetypal richness, that depth of tone for you. The one that goes beautifully with that natural ruby I had for you earlier on, that just works, just hits the nail on the head really, doesn't it? All three of these today should be Surely that's just for the price of one, no? For that garnet, for that garnet and that appetite, that's the price point I think for just one of the strands. Oh my goodness, get it now, £12.95 for all three of these strands. That is, ex you can see the quality for yourself. You don't have to work with these together. You could work with these individually, you wouldn't have to use a lot either. When you've got quality like this that is literally glowing internally, you don't have to do a lot with these at all. A minimal work because Mother Nature's done it for you already. The effort's already been put in there by her. Working with these to create those artisan earrings, actually, the, that garnet would look beautiful with, um, yes, you know, the, the drop, the drop. Yes. Um, yes, you could layer those up quite happily and yeah. have them in the middle of, of one of those shapes that you've made, yeah. Oh, that'd be perfect mm. then. So if you just got your DVD, get your hands on these as well then, because you'll actually, the sizing's perfect. Loads of you coming in for this, congratulations. I've got someone from Texas, I've got someone from um, Isle of Man, I've got some people from Wales and England, lots of you coming in today, congratulations. Getting your hands on these three times, you can see the quality of this is absolutely outstanding. Wheels on the bus. Just pretend that haven't uh, hasn't. Who who named this? Scott. Scott Stone. I can't help it. <laughs> Wheels on the bus. Everyone else was impressed with it upstairs. Well, you've just summarised the people working upstairs then, haven't you? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Ignore the name, just enjoy the gems. Uh, £12.95 for you today. OCGC60 is the code on this today. 
stunning appetite. Just look. Let's just let's just focus on the quality of this. Oh my goodness. It is outstanding, isn't it? And then look at this, just glow. I'm not even moving this and you can see the glow. Oh my goodness. You've then got the deep richness, beautiful symmetry in your saturation throughout that garnet. And then a shiller and a sheen from this graduated strand of your moonstone, unlike any other. Half my stock has been allocated now, so I'm sorry if you are going to miss out. Uh, do get in on the phone lines for this whilst you can, though. And if you got that DVD, treat yourself to this now. £12.95. Now it's time to move on to our second designer inspiration. Um, lovely, lovely Rachel, what are we going to expect from this one? Um, a totally different um, design. Uh, again, it's another, another creature with lots of appendages <laughs> <laughs> and lots of arms. Um, I've tried to show you my, all my pieces that there's slightly different ways of using the uh, beautiful labradorite that we've got in this pack. I mean, literally, I couldn't if I, I could spend uh, three months <laughs> using all those cabochons. Um, so I just picked, picked the ones that I like the shape of best to work with these pieces and then went with it. So um, yeah, we've got a slightly more complex um, wire work project, but I'll show you how you can stop halfway along and make um, a simple um, wrap pendant um, from, as if you stop halfway along, I'll show you the point you can do that, for example. If you don't want to do the whole way, make a big octopus thing. Whatever, a Kefalopon thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, what, whatever. <laughs> Creature. <laughs> now, I'm showing you currently 1,480 carats worth of Labradorite. Guess what? This is actually part of your designer inspiration kit today. That is astonishing. I'm not just doing this by itself. This is part of my kit. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that this is going to be reduced. You're going to... How many of this have I got? Because I know this is going to be a sellout, so I just want to be straight with people. How many? Oh, well. 70 I've got of these. This by itself, £34.95. Um, I'll be honest with you. If you are happy to buy these at £34.95, because that's the price of this collection, you've got 1,480 carats. If you're happy to buy this at £34.95 and then get all of this for an extra £15, which is a bargain, just get yourself on the phone now. That's my little heads up. Little heads up for you, genuinely. All of this extra for just £15. Get yourself on the phone now. It's going to be a sellout. I know that instantly. Um, it's a bargain. All of these gemstones, all of those cabs coming up, you'll get a selection of different sizes, different shapes, but you will definitely be getting around 1,480 carats worth. You've then, sticking with that same gemstone, got the beautiful laboratory in these faceted coins. Cracky quality are these. Slight areas of transparency as well, which is nice to see in Labradorite, especially when you still have that Labradorescence. You have got on this strand of the faceted coins around 55 carats worth, and they're going from five to seven mil on each of these. So a really gentle graduation there, which is beautiful because it means you can highlight it if you wish. Again, with those artisan earrings, that work perfectly. Or if you wanted to, you could just keep it really, really subtle like it is on the strand so you'd hardly notice. Beautiful selection there. I adore, j'adore, gunmetal pyrite. Mm. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> that is exceptional. 65 carats worth we have got here. The submetallic luster is unrivaled. Your eyes lit up as soon as I pulled this strand. What is it about well, this strand you adore so much? I originally asked Pip for silver metal balls um, to work with, you know, the little metal um, balls, and he suggested to, these would go well with Labradorite, and he was absolutely mm. right because it's got similar texture, that sort of. Uh, that, the, the same the same background colour as the Labradorite, so it works really well with it um, because it's got that sort of black black hue and so is the base colour of the Labradorite. So 
um, and also then it also brings out the the shine and the sheen um, and acts as a good accent um, stone to to it. And I wanted to make some, the octopus look sort of watery and um, of the deep, which is where they live, yeah. rather than it just just being sort of very obviously like a turquoisey blue. You know, you know it, I wanted to make it like a deeper creature. So. Um, it was worked out really well, actually. It was a really good choice. He he got those for me, actually. So thank it's you for it. stunning <laughs> selection. It really, truly is. Um, I'm not even on to the wire yet. Yeah. You've got 10 metres worth of your 0 0.8. This is all in the silver. 10 metres of your 0 0.8. You've got 15 metres of your 0.25. 10 metres worth of your 0 0.4. And 10 metres worth of your 1 mil. So lots of structural, great for findings, and your weaving wire here as well in total you're going to be getting 45 meters worth of this wire let's have a little recap I need to let you know I started off with 70 it says on your screen I've got 59 left that is because people have already bought it at this price all of these people 62 pounds and 15 pence of course because have a little look these cabs alone, all of these cabs are £34.95. You can see the quality. How about getting these two strands and 45 metres worth of wire for an extra 15? Would that be good? How about for an extra £10? Your price today, buy the cabs, get all of this for £8. Mm. It's just £42.95. The cabs alone are £34.95. All of these cabs, you are getting loads. I can't guarantee how many you're going to get, but I've got about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I've got about 30 in front of me. You'll be getting a similar amount. Just to let you know, all of the cabs that we have are in this bundle as well. We don't have any more of these cabs available. This is going to be a sellout in moments because the amount of people that come in on the phone for this is crazy. It really, really is. At that price, even if you just want the cabs and, and the gemstones themselves, perhaps you've not even tried wire work yet, you just want all of these goodies for whatever else it might be, well now is your opportunity because at that price point, you're buying the cabs, you're getting all of this here for just eight pounds. You couldn't buy one of those strands for that price. You couldn't. This is absolutely flying out, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the number on screen can't actually catch up. This is going to be a sellout within probably the next oh, couple of minutes, if that. If everyone checks out their baskets, I'll be honest with you, it's actually gone already. If everyone checked out their baskets now. Uh, people are officially starting to steal from people's baskets at this point. Congratulations, it's the only chance you've got to get your hands on these stunning cabs now. So please do treat yourself to them whilst you can because honestly, at that price point, it's your only opportunity to get them. Um, stunning, just astonishing amount. 24 of these left. At forty-two pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, what do you think of that price point? Um, that's pretty. That's a lot, actually, for your money. Isn't that's it? a lot because the cabochons themselves. I mean, you think how many pieces you're going to be able to make, um, and even if you charge them ten, ten for each, <laughs> what you could. It, it, I mean, I'm not. I'm not normally into making. Um, prices for sales and things like that. Yeah. I just think that's enormously good value for money. It's amazing. Um, and I've also made pieces out of the, using the backs of the cabochons as opposed uh, to the front. Okay. Because the backs are sometimes so beautiful, it's just a shame. And I've made some them. pieces with, with the backs as well. That's so I don't know whether we want to talk through those that's a little really, bit before we start. Really good. Yeah, definitely um, do. And that's obviously the, that's the piece we're going to make. Yeah, I um, love it so much. And it was just showing you also the different mica powder. And what, again, you could put a, a Viking knit through this area, make a really statement necklace. But I wanted to make it look sort of almost hmm, uh, a kind of modern, more modern piece um, from that point of view. So I've brought in some a polymer clay with the mica powder on to, to support the octopus. Um, but the Labradorite again works so well, it's got this grey tone through it, um, but yet this iridescence of colour um, through it. Um, so yeah. I absolutely <laughs> adore. Do you let you know it's a sellout, that's why the graphics have gone off. Sorry, I did tell you it was going to be amazing. We're going to put the what on screen? Flush cutters. 
Oh, one yeah. of your favourites. Yes. yes, you cannot live without them. <laughs> cannot live they, without they, them. They are really, really good and they go through quite uh, thick gauges. Um, I go through quite a few flush, flush cutters because I just use so much wire. Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm on my th you know, third pair, I think, at least. and uh, Not of these, but of flush cutters through my life. Yeah, of course. Maybe more. Um, but these have lasted um, the longest and they have cut through the 1.5 a millimeter gauge wire beautifully and cleanly which is what That's you want really as a flush neat, cut um, so it, it cuts the, the gauges of wires that I want to cut and produces beautiful cut edges for jump rings um, and for the cut ends of wire that you really because when I, I'm looking at it under magnification when you take a photograph because my eyes aren't very good anymore okay, yeah. I'll take a photograph and then look at it and try and see where the flaws are and then go back and see where I can tidy things up for wow. example um, and the cut edges are what you see under the if they're not if they're smooth. not done properly. Mm. So you've got to finish off ends, make sure there's no sharp ends, tuck them in, cut them neatly. The finishing is so important to the pieces, and this helps you achieve that. Beautiful. This piece of equipment, and you can get it today for just twenty nine ninety five. But we've actually only got seventy two of these left because they've been so popular. So get them whilst you can, because you know what it's like. When once they go, people need them, need them, need them. <laughs> but it takes us ages to get them back in. So they're up on screen now. So I love him. <laughs> oh, um, have a little look at the other ones as well. Talk us through can, these other pieces. Well, that is um, the the middle one with the polymer clay. That's a sugar craft cake mold um, of, of, and also some of the molds I made from the. Um, two-stage molding compound oh from yeah. shells that I've got on the beach so some of those are my shells oh some of those are handmade little squiggles that I've just popped on you know you put them in between and I've put the cabs on and I, I think I might do a DI show showing how to sort of mount cabochons up like that and make lovely frames um, for idea. them um, so um, we might be a different theme but I'm going to show you how to embed them and, and encase them and oh, we'll see what that works <laughs> And again, just is actually showing the backs of them. I didn't even want to be able say, to bring that yeah, up. Yeah, as I, um, as I, it's the flat back that makes it. It catches. I don't know if you can get it catching. The yeah, I, that's why I was moving it earlier because um, you can see, can't you, that these are flat. Those are actually the backs of them, and that actually that works so well. And again, and with the labradorite, the different tones as well. Of you've these. got sometimes. I'm sorry to talk over you. No? I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes labradorite works well um, when you mount it horizontally or vertically, depending on its cut. So when you look at it, make sure when you put your labradorite in hmm. that sometimes labradorite will work really well like that um, and when it's worn or in fact sometimes it see, works better. It works better like that or you can turn it and you'll see it won't work as well. So You're check right. with your piece and it labradorite. Depends it depends how they cut. Yeah, so isn't then you it? make your piece round it. Perfect. If you see what I mean. So those are pieces that are made around the piece of labradorite that I that I had, uh, I picked out, some, and also the, show, the one at the end shows the colour variation in the labradorite because you've got um, honey browns and, and golds in, in the base stone, almost amber-like tones, it could be an, am an amber or a, a, a tiger's eye, but it's not, it's a labradorite. It's actually labradorite, isn't it? And you've it? got the blue in the middle and you've got the green tones at the top, so you're going to get all these lovely different colours in your batch, um, you know, to be able to work with, and that, that makes it an interesting pendant because you've got two different colour tones within the same stone to work with, and That's again, I would like to do a DI show showing how to make that that double stone pendant maybe um, in my October show. So. Oh my gosh, I think that will definitely be something that people will be <laughs> writing in about 100%. And the ring as well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, have a look at the ring. Because that's one of the obvious uses um, for the, one of the, st the stones because they make these lovely big sort of statement um, piece rings. I use Laura binding. The, the, I mean, I, I make those prong set rings as well. Prong set rings um, that all the guest designers use. Laura, Laura binding has been demonstrating a lot of them recently um, and to great effect. And that's what you know she uses that sort of style. Um, so um, make up one of those and encase your leather dry and, and, and wear it and yeah they're just one of the things. It. So <laughs> we're going to be having a little look at our beautiful octopus design today. I am blown away by this again. Why an octopus this time? I don't know. <laughs> I love that. One. No idea. Just, just, I wonder, I just wanted to make it actually. 
That's God, it. it's just fun. It's just fun. Yes. Uh, well, let's get started. Where well, do we begin? First of all, I went on the internet and found, I mean, these aren't copyrighted images, I don't think. They're just literally um, tattoos, I think. Okay. Tattoos, um, different images. I think, and that's a, that's a charm. Obviously, that might be copyrighted. But I got images. You can get um, anything off the internet to give me inspiration. How do I make an octopus? And eventually, I came down to, I'm sorry about the scrappy drawing, but it, it's just what I'm going to use as the base. You can make the, you, you can draw, basically what you need to do is draw the octopus, or I've got plenty of pictures on the Facebook site that we've taken this afternoon. So if you print off one of the images, you can use it as your template. Brilliant. And, what and then you, you can make it any size you want, can't you? You make it, yes, you see, exactly. And that's why I've included 0.8 wire and 0.25 wire in the kit, because I make mostly it with 1 and 0.4, but if you want to make it on a smaller scale, you need to go down to the 0.8 wire, because it make those fine bends up quite nicely, Brilliant. and the 0.25 will then work to the, do the weave. So that's why I've included that for people who want to make smaller I've just made it big impact for TV you know yeah um, and and don't worry about it actually having to be symmetrical because you can just turn the octopus over and, and do the arms on the other side if you okay. see what I mean so yeah, as long I as you've got you one side and you work to one side as the template that's fine that's and okay. you can make your arm the octopus arms do whatever you like you know it don't have to be my design you can do whatever you like whatever you want him to be doing yes yeah. so first of all you've got to encase your cabochon okay um, so um, and I've got to make um, a kind of three or four layered, it's, it's, it's quite a few components to this frame, but don't worry, it all will fit together. So taking a long section of wire, probably about 80 centimetres long, um, I'm going, because each of these sections of wire is going to make a leg or an arm, sorry, okay. so you do need quite a few. I'm just going to make a, um, put the cash on in the middle, just make a little leaf shape. I've got to mess it up by actually trying to play with it before I, it should have made the shape. Make a, um, a, a round shape <laughs> because I've, I've distorted the wire. It might not work, but you can play you with it. You get the idea. Yeah. Make, it, make a circle round, but don't make it too tight because you're going to be too tight against the stone because you're going to want to put wire in between. So make sure it's got about a mil at least around the stone and don't, because you're going to be putting wires in. Okay. Um, and then bend down and I'm just going to do the other side, and you can then adjust it. You need to adjust it so it's the right size. Yeah. So that'll need to come in both sides about a millimetre, for example. So I need to make that sm that uh, smaller. So what I'll do is, so don't make that bend too sharp to begin with, otherwise you'll weaken the wire. It's just so really just a soft subtle. little mark, almost. Yeah, exactly. Because the, the minute you make a sharp bend, you can sort of almost you're work hardening and putting a stress in the metal. Okay. And if you try and reshape it too quickly, you generate too much heat, and it basically melts and shears off, basically. Okay. All these sort of things. And anyway, there, there we've got we've got a an oval around the cabochon. Make sure these are straight. And this is fairly straight. I'm, I'm clamping with the pliers and pulling up. So get these, these out of the way because I don't. These are going to be slightly in the way while I'm working with them. I've gone and distorted that. <laughs> it's so hot in here. It, but it doesn't really matter. You can shape here, with your fingers. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, take your time at home. Yeah, shape with your fingers and make sure that fits around. I've got another one, so it's not the end of the world. There. And then use a bit of scrap wire. And bind round the oval, so that you've got it almost like a. Um, that's a kind of the. the the, the frame, it's just scrap, you're going to take it off. It's a frame to which you're going to work against. So all the other wires are fairly loose and not, not, um, not shaped so firmly. This is going to be the shape that you work against to make your octopus, the head of the octopus. So again, take a bit of time and make that shape um, fit properly around the cabochon. Squishing with your fingers or squishing with your pliers okay. until you get that shape. So I've got that vaguely right, although I would spend a bit of time getting that making that a bit fatter. Yeah, you see how you can get that shape a little bit better. It's perfectly. Tiny bit of movement, not too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got my camera shot out of the way. Next you make, Remember to bind that base of that cabochon with scrap wire because you and you kind of don't bind it too. You're not doing too much with it because you, if you make any mistakes, you can adjust those final two portions to make the the frame bigger or smaller near the end in case you've you've made it too small for your cabochon. I see. Awful. Next thing we're going to do is you make another wire so it fits around the cabochon 
to about two thirds of the way down either side. Can you see how I've done that? So I've just mm -hmm. made another shape two thirds of the way down. And I made a third piece of wire. So it's about halfway down, if I bring it around. So it fits around this one and this one. And so it's halfway round, halfway down the cabochon. So they'll make one, two, um, three, and these, will make, these are going to be longer, so you make lot, these, these ends of wire, make sure they're longer so they can make two lots of arms. In fact, actually, um, I would use a metre of wire, please, otherwise you're going to run out of wire. Okay. These can be shorter. So two arms for each of those and one arm for each of those makes eight. So you've got the frame wires. I'm also going to make a little circular part of the face. Um, do you want me to show you how to make that? It's literally, if I get a bit of wire, yeah, I'm me to hold, hold it that. once you do that. And I'll just get a bit of um, wire, just make it up. It just has to be one of the short ends of wire. Um, if you've got a one of the ring mandrels, um, there we go, I should have got one of those out. You know, the um, jump ring makers, um, yes, yeah, one of these. They're really useful. I use them all the time, actually, for making bales. They're incredibly useful. Oh, yeah. One of the larger um, jump ring makers. Mm and just use that to start off your circle. That's good, isn't it? And you've got a perfect circle to start off with. Fab. See? So easy, get one easy. of those, if they're ever up, just get those packs because they're so useful, not just for making jump rings, for making bales and loops and other things. Fab. And they're standard size, they're tremendously useful if you haven't got the bell making pliers mm -hmm. or, a, you know, and they're often smaller than a, than a ring mandrel so you can get these little circles beautifully. Wonderful. Next thing to do is just bend that upwards. This is where you do it with your fingers, actually. Okay. Bend it upwards. And Becky, yes, of course, in comes the things that you're going to use to work hard on the frame. Da -da. Da -da. Um, so again, you want to slightly work hard on these with the hammer and a block. And look at look at that. That's what Jack did to my block. How? <laughs> he went and really, really had a go at it and marked my block. So Imagine. Jack, you little <laughs> cutie. Oh my so, god. Yeah, I you do can have a shiny one. new one today. <laughs> no Jack marks included. <laughs> yeah, don't, um, again, that's really awful to work against because that's going to mark your things. And that's, um, I have the other side is a bit better, but. Thankfully, it's double sided, sided isn't it? Uh, this <laughs> is your steel block with the chase hammer. These are coming up together. In there, we also have a wire twister tool. This is a big bundle. Also, you've got your wire twister tool and you've got your gizmo coil. Now, all of these actually say to me, Rachel Norris, you love a little gizmo, don't you, Rachel Norris? I do. Norris? I've got some gizmo example pieces, actually, if you want to see them. Have yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I come prepared. Rachel, you see. know that I do already. <laughs> you know so that. These are some gizmo pieces. So I show the potential. It comes with boxes of treasures, well, this have, lady does. <gasps> and there. So these are the potential of pieces. Full. Well, I've not seen on. this bracelet before. Oh, gosh. Not. I do know I made that probably about. Three or four years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah when you had to Still hand so twist one. I used to uh, hang it from a beam and twist it, with, and Jack would watch me. I mean, as a little baby sitting on the floor, I'd twist the one, hang it on a weight, yeah. and you twist twist it from a beam and you can make the wire. Now I've got a wire twister tool and all these other now things. Now this it just fits in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No ceiling required. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> so you twisted it and then you gizmoed it. Um, yes. That's, That's it, and you can make butterflies. Well, look, this is the gizmo so, butterfly, which I just love. That's the one that was in the tutorial. So, if you want, that was went out in one of the um, um, in one of the um, uh, emails. But I've got it. If somebody wants it, like, I've got a tutorial, a free tutorial. If somebody wants that it, is so, so cute. And isn't that's it? the potential, and uh, with a bit of the, gizmo um, coils. I've used in the gizmo coils. It's amazing that that, that you use a simple, simple tool creates these types of looks. It's all just from this tool. Yeah. You're getting the steel block, the gizmo <laughs> coiler, you're getting the wire twister tool, Lots of things, and the chase hammer. <laughs> Should be... 28.30. Wait. Scott's just said I'm going to get told off for doing this price, and when Scott says that, he says then by himself. He's gonna, yourself's going to tell you what. <laughs> cool. Whoa! That is naughty. Scott's actually trying to kind of make himself feel better now. Like, we, we do need storage space back in the warehouse, though, don't we? 
Don't try and get out of it that way, chicken. That's a crazy price chart. That's like half price, isn't it? All four of these professional tools, £11.95. It's astonishing. You couldn't get a professional jewelry making hammer anywhere else for that price. Let alone all the other goodies. Mm. And we'll show you and talk you through exactly how to use the hammer and the blocking. And by the way, Jack had to really do be going some to make those marks because I didn't. I have not made any marks on it and he, he just. <laughs> Play him. Well, he was playing the drums, mm. probably. Normally, normally they, they wouldn't like st stainless steel. It's really hard stuff. Exactly. So I've made um, a little face shape that's going to fit in, in the, inside the cabochon to fit eyes on. I don't know if you can see that. The, I mean, the, the shiller on these pieces are oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful pieces of lower dry. Um, I'll put that away because I don't need that. And we're going to start um, weaving up the frame. Now I'm going to use a very small, short piece of wire because. Um, I use basically about two metres. Okay. okay, but I'm going to use a really For short demo piece. Demo purposes. Yeah, because otherwise it's everywhere. Um, and then we start off with the outermost frame, which only goes halfway down the outside of the cabochon. And you do, in the centre part of your 0.4 wire, you wrap round three times. One, two, three and then you're ready, squeeze together that first wrap with your pliers like that and then put that one on. We might have to talk through some pieces, let me know how much time I've got and things like that because we have, you know. Not a problem at all, <laughs> you've got Doesn't a know. good 35 minutes. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, because I just want to be able to, if I can talk people through at least show techniques. Okay. Bring in the, the next piece of frame wire, the one which goes two thirds away down the cabochon and either side, because we work from the top to make sure things are horizontal and at the same level all the way down, go one, two, and again I'm doing this quite quickly, and three, keeping those wraps as quite tightly together, and then this one, if you find it a problem working on the other hand, yeah, because I'm left-handed, of course. Are you a lefty? I am. I, th I think you're a lefty. Yeah, I am as well. Yeah. yeah Very likely. creative people. <laughs> yeah, we are left-handed. Yeah, mathematics. Um, we're spatially aware. We're verbally sometimes when you're tired, you won't be able to speak as well oh, because yeah. the speech centres on the. It takes double the distance double the for the impulses. So you, sometimes when you're tired, you'll, you won't speak as well. But you can think in three dimensions. Yes, I agree yeah. with that. Isn't no, yeah. that interesting? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? But, yes, it? But you need different people in the world. You've got these wonderful right-handed people and you've got wonderful left-handed Le people. And, and ambidextrous. Yeah, they bring something they to the world. They jealous. <laughs> people who can do both. Yeah, I can't. I'm definitely not. My no. daughter is right-handed but eats left-handed, so I don't know if she's copied me. <laughs> Probably. And then, Probably. And then basically bring down mm. another three down this frame. So I've got to go back to back to the task in hand. <laughs> But yes, left-handedness. It's uh, a teacher side at me at school, and as I smeared and smudged every bit of ink. Yeah, because your hand dribbles over it, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Then bring in the central frame. And so the first frame we did. This is the most fiddly bit. This is a bit where things start to wobble, and you think, oh goodness. And but once you've done a few weaves in and out, it will start to hold itself together. So this three round this central frame again because I've not really joined anything in here with the arms we've got enough space free to just um, pop the wire in between so it's not that it's not that difficult to weave to do because um, you've got plenty of space in between the frame to actually bring things down I'm going to turn this round just to the other side oh, sorry about this bring this up and then, sorry, I'm going quiet because I'm thinking. And then round this inner frame three times. Again, you, I want to make this sure things are symmetrical. I want to work down each side symmetrical so I get the same amount of weaves up and down either side so it looks nice and also you make it sure it balances. At the moment things are all over the place but it's starting to almost hold together. Yeah, you can see that. Um, so it's not, uh, by the time you get the second row in and out, it really does start to hold together much better. Ah. Make sure this is pushed to the centre and you can move the wire frames themselves around to the, towards the centre. And the worst comes the worst, if you feel these aren't symmetrical, just bend the arms so that they look the same. Okay, okay. I see, yeah. The last bit you join in is this, so again, you join this one in. So that's the little face section, The little face section, uh, again, around 
three times by the side and then you work back towards the outside again um, oh dear, sorry. that's what gives it this cool, sort of zigzag effect isn't yes it? zigzag again you can you can incorporate different weaves there's st so many different weaves people have taught you you don't have to do it like this you can put um, you can go across um, two wires at the same time um, yeah, you know, you can you can create any any sort of weaves you like. Which is the great thing it's, about wire work, yes. isn't it? There's another weave for it. For it. There's a new weave for everything. Yeah. Now I'm going to move on to the next fab because I made a, a. It looks awful. I just want to show you, talk you through a little bit more about what we're doing instead. No problem. So this is the section that we've just done. So it's this weaving around the head section which here. And which section are we moving on to now? This is the this is the head section all woven up. So oh, yeah, can you beautiful. see now? What I've done is I've woven all these, this in and four, back out to the outside again, once more across to the inner, inner section of the face, and then back out, zigzag all the way along until you reach the end of this bit, and then you just continue along the two until you reach the end of this bit, until you get to the point where it started to cross these wire, this wire crosses. You can crosses. see where I started to attach this one I can see, yeah. to bring down. Okay. And do exactly the same, and just make sure that everything is symmetrical at the same level, and in fact, the pattern will help you keep that. Um, I didn't show you in the previous technique, but you can need to squash the pattern together as you weave it to make sure that it all holds together and it's as tight as possible. So once you've done a, a, a diagonal weave up and down, push your fingers, push your fingers to get that weave back together. Together, yes. I see. And then carry on because you don't want um, it to look loose down one side and you have a tighter weave down that side. You'll end up not being balanced, not having the same number of in, ins and outs with your weaves on either side. You want it to look balanced. Symmetry is key at this so point. I'm going to just. Sorry about this. So this is the 0.4. This is 0.4. I'm just going to wrap round this. Again, this has been in. Um, Transit. I'm going to take some of this wire off sacrilege, but I am. Um, just to show you the next bit. Yeah. Just to go around here, and again, I will add in wire and not waste this. This will this end up being a cabochon frame for something uh, in the future. Because again, this you can keep and not make an octopus. You can do little curls here and here and here. Just make a bail with this section. Um, add in and you've got a nice pendant on, on its own with its own fixing so you don't have to make the whole octopus you can you can just do the cabochon fixing bit do some curls on either side and you've got your own that's beautiful um, um, cabochon setting with a pattern across the front um, so one two three three really starts to fix it in and then continue down the frame I need to do that because I need to show you the attachment of the next piece. Okay, fab. I didn't show you the work hardening of the wire, but I have tapped it gently using the lovely hammer and block that Rebecca, uh, Becky brought us uh, a while ago. Um, That's to actually work, you do need to mind. tap along the frame without distorting it just to work harden it so it won't um, distort as you're weaving it. just makes your life easier. Yeah, because that's so important for this type of thing, isn't it? Especially as it's holding a cab, you really want to make sure the strength's there, don't you? Exactly, because the wire, the wire does remain soft unless you work hard on it. Yeah. It's a sta almost a stable condition uh, yeah. because it's been plunged in that, in that uh, quench in the water yes. after it's first been made. So I've come down the frame a little way because I want to attach a, little th a fourth little face portion because this little, this isn't strong enough at the moment. No to really hold that cabochon in. I can okay. put it over it and you can see, you can start to shape it a little bit. You can see how it fits round. Yep, I see. But you want extra strength I there. want extra strength because that's still a little bit, that's quite mobile. Okay. So what I've done is create a little set of mouth parts from, um, a, again, a section of scrap end of wire. It's probably about um, six, seven centimetres long, folded in two. Okay. Like so, and then what I, I will do, just quick show you how to make this section here, which will end up fitting in between this level. It'll fit into here. Okay. So yeah, we see. you see, and then what yep. I will do, let's just clear yeah, that so you can see it. Flat nose pliers, chain nose pliers at the top. You want a very small, short distance of about four millimetres to make the bend outwards. And again on that side. So it's just got a little point. Point, and then a longer length 
Let's go shameless. Let's go shameless. Okay, it's not not perfect. What I want to be able to do is be able to fit a four millimeter bead in the middle of it. So as long as the shape you make fits a four millimeter bead, or oh, sorry, your little um, pyrite yeah. in there, as long as that has enough space to do that, then you should be fine. You might. Need to, so I'm just going to do this now, so I'll show you. Um, it's got to be a diamond. Yeah, I see. And then just curl upwards either side, and that's just not quite round equal. Those. So just make sure the ends are equal. Trim that off so they look equal. And then just make a little curl. Round those pliers in. Make a little curl. Cut the ends off. Just a millimetre or so, just to make it round, because that end isn't isn't always round. And then bring that in. Steve, but that's snug, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. It's one of my favourite techniques you've ever taught me. That. <laughs> just to trim off the last and little bit. Again, I've m made that terribly straight there. If you if that happens, bring that out. And bring the chain nose in. So I'm doing this at a distance, you see. And then yeah, look, cool. you can shape it up with the chain nose. Oh, chain nose and then bring it back in and then you've got to try and make the other one symmetrical so I'm going to turn it round, work with it from that way. I'm not making a tight spiral, I'm making a loose spiral because I want to be able to wrap some wire in. Okay. And then try and make that symmetrical as possible. Spend a bit much more time because that's not symmetrical, it's wonky and it's, it's, you know, you spend a bit more time making that that's symmetrical. And then what I need to do is bend it, that's not going to fit over a cabochon, it's, it's sitting out like that. Yeah, I see. So what I want to do is bend it, bend it slightly, bend the shape over, so it will fit over the, the cabochon nicely, like like so. Yeah. Perfect. So, um, put that to one side in the, in the bin, <laughs> and then um, take this, these two ends of the of the wire of the 0 0.4, of 0 0.4, which are far too long. So again, I'm going to take that on down. And attach these bits in like so. Again, I haven't squished that one or shaped that one. I forgot because I was going to demo it. So sorry, I need to uh, squish it. Squishing it around. So it rests really nicely. Over the cabochon nicely, yeah. Beautiful. So taking this, hold it with, um, taking this shape, hold it with thumb and forefinger and just start to wrap round. Again, try and do it equidistantly. You've wrapped down from, from this face wire about four, five or six wraps round. Then you need to do three wraps here on either side. I've gone and crossed it over back, so I'm trying to rush this bit. So sorry. Bear with me. And then back up. Three wraps round and then cinch it in tight on the other side. So bring it in around just the frame only. We do it all right for time, Becky. Don't um, worry, you've got about 20 minutes. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, that's all right. Gosh, I'm not looking at the clock properly, you see, and, and I've, all the timings are different. Don't so, worry. and then bring that down to the, the base. Again, um, I'm just going to show the attachment of the other side. One, two, three. Just to let you know, back up on your screen now is the Rachel Norris collection. Now that's the triple DVDs. I've got so few left. So few. I'm talking single figures few. But we want people to be able to get their hands on the last couple. Uh, all three of those DVDs, just £42.85. Last chance loon on that edition's one through to three of the Rachel Norris. First time you've ever seen the collection together and more than likely the last with that £10 saving as well. Treat yourself today. Um, so, um, thank you. What I've done is squash that wire close, wrap down to the base and do a couple of wraps and leave the wire in so that we can do a little bit of a weave and attachments and beads later. So that's about all the wire you'll need. Wrap down to the base, 
and then wrap wrap the wire ends on. I just want to check what I've got for the next stage. I yeah, go have on. Done that while you were. Tell you what, whilst okay. you're checking, no, would I you like know. me to fill a little bit? Um, no. Um, because I've right discovered then. what I've got to do. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. I'm going to, <laughs> I don't even bother. <laughs> I'm going to attach the eyes. Okay, attach Sorry. the eye. Sorry. No, there it's we all right. We've got loads of time to squeeze that in. I just <laughs> thought you might need a bit of fill time. Uh, um, do you know what? No, I've never met him, but he sounds like a nice chap. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we need to do is just get a little bit of point four. I've attached um, these face bits and um, You've got to believe me that I've actually wrapped down to the end, for example, and, and done a diamond weave or crisscross weave at the base of there. Okay, yeah. I'm going to attach the eyes in the middle section of the... of the. So that's the pie right from the kit? Yes. So a short set section of wire, probably about uh, 30, 40 centimetres long. Um, pass up in the middle diamond and do about four little wraps round each side. Now if you want to bring that wire up, um, Be um, Becky, and show that lovely wire that you're going to show, oh, what I don't I'm going to do, to, to be <laughs> honest now, Rachel, there. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it, Rachel. <laughs> it's, only, it's only a shopping channel trying to make some money. So <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to give the, bring all the lovely things for people to buy. Um, and then um, Otherwise, you see, you go, you go under. If we were just, if we were just doing demos, which everybody, you know, would be amazing, wouldn't it? Demos all oh, day. Yeah. But to be honest, there'd be no we channel. We wouldn't there. be here. No. <laughs> we <laughs> so we we would probably part. last about a day, <laughs> and that would be it. And um, you breach your broadcasting guidelines. Well, absolutely. See, because we need to be. Um, you know, and so we're educationally telling you how to use the product, Please which is that. how we get around it. Which is how we get around it here at Jewelry Maker, sneaky sneakies. So what I've done is done four wraps round, um, both. In fact, I've done it wrong, <laughs> but just <laughs> um, four wraps round the outer frame and this frame, and then. Um, I'm going to just do two, but you need, really need to do about four or five. Just to be totally yeah. sure. Just around the diamond bit. So you need to do so a few wraps here, a few wraps around that frame. Attach the ball. I'm only going to attach one eye. I'm going to thread. Yes, thank you. This is going to fit in the centre. Yep. So I'm just going to take that away from you, Becky. Go ahead. And then just wrap round. A couple of times again. Okay. Wish I was taller, because it's much easier to see when you're taller. <laughs> and then, so you wrap around that four times, and then attach. The, and again, imagine I've done four wraps around there, and I'm just going to attach to the the uh, face four times down, because I want to be able to bind these two securely. So one wrap that I've done isn't enough. So you need to do a few more. Okay. Okay. Once you've got to a stage where the wrap, which I have done on this side, is a stage where you can add an eyepiece in, you can add in one of the Labradorite discs. Try to colour match them to size and to, um, and to colour um, reflexivity if you can, because you can, they'll, some will reflect green, some will reflect blue. Also check the orientation so that they will work well when you've got the <laughs> it that way up, because if you, as you turn the disc it won't work one way as compared to as another. As well as the other. So again, I haven't got time in the studio to do that, but just check at home. Thread it on. And then. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'm busy threading onto the wrong, wrong end of the wire, so gosh, I'm so sorry. Don't Thread be it silly, it's fine. Got an empty. <laughs> There we are, and then thread it on to this gap, and then also check that one side is more effective than the other. That side's a better side, for example. So, just attach to the space where this this wire crosses the frame wire. A couple of wraps round, and then you can then just wrap up this frame wire a little bit of so one, two, three round and then wrap up the frame wire a few times um, and then trim and tuck in like, like so. So you can see how I'm pushing that down with my fingers. Yeah, just squidging it down. Squidging it down. That gives you a professional finish as well, doesn't it, actually? It's almost like a good coil wrapped around the, 
and then press together your pliers or fingers and then trim and cut in. Do exactly the same on the other side. Don't worry if there's some rotation here because um, the, um, the Labradorite will help cushion it into place. Do the same for the other side so you've got the eye in place. Okay, Lovely. so we're going to move on to the next stage. If you want to bring um, anything else, Go on then. Purely really. because the DVD sold out mm. and the lot before sold out and then this, we've not got many left. We've got over half our stock gone on this, so it's better to bring you somewhere else, isn't it? Um, I've got your gold-coloured wire, 100 metres worth of your one mil. So you can create this in two alternate colorways with this you've got your gold in the one mil at 100 meters and your antiques bonds one mil 100 meters as well make your octopus in a family range of colors with the structural wire needed for these pieces 200 meters worth of wire what price would you expect well you would expect this price 55 pound 90 not today, we're taking it down so you can make a whole group of octopi swarm. What's a group of octopus called? I think they're solitary. Oh, are they? Uh, squids, do squids, um, squids um, go in Squids, do they go in groups, do they squids? I don't know. A squad of squid, <laughs> Ben's saying. £37.95. Uh, squids pence. do. <laughs> so, uh, octopus is solitary, I think, possibly. Do they? I like the idea of all a group of octopus <laughs> holding hands, though. Perhaps they might. I like yes. that idea. All of them. Uh, £37.95. It's quite like convenient that they do. They will. They will. In fact, they will. Love um, it. <laughs> treat yourself today. So, the next thing we're going to do is wire in the cabochon. Um, this is a, a stage further on than the one we're going to work with, just to show you what we're going to do. Okay. And what I've done is um, made a heart shape, um, basic by making, getting two pieces of wire exactly the same and curling them inwards to make a sort of a heart shape. Lovely, right, yep. As heart long shape. as it fits on the back of the cabochon, like so. Yep. Okay. So it's just small enough. Yeah, small enough. And I've wrapped one piece of end wire uh, around the base. I've wrapped some wire around the intersection and then wrapped up with each end either side of the heart so it's coming out the top. So basically the heart isn't, is, is really strongly bound together. So you've made a circle, that's a fixed circle okay. that will act as a base. Work over a soft surface. So on something like this. And why um, is that important? So because over a macrame board or the cabochon, The cabochon will fall out. Okay. Um, one of these is excellent or we'll work over a towel or something these are really really good sticky bead press mask. yeah to press the stone against because the labradorites might crack if yeah. you bre you if you press on them too, too hard. hard yeah so one of these has or a foam mat something with a bit of softness in it and also will just help you shape that so what i've done is just shape round it you can see the face first of all which i should show you but you can yeah. see the face you can see the face all there. wired in um, there's photographs on the Facebook site, and this is ready to. Uh, I've slightly shaped it round the cabochon as well with your fingers, squish, 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 shape that cabochon in place. And then if you drop the cabochon, it's going to fall on something soft. Okay. If you're walking over, working over hard floor or something like that, we'll be careful. careful. Yep. All that hard work. Um, Although with this kit, actually, you have so many caps, you could probably <laughs> you find probably, one. You do. Good, I, you? I did actually fracture one, and I had to go back and then find one that fitted. So it was, yeah. it was fine. But I pressed too hard. Again, this is really gorgeous, and that f works so well like that. If I turn it up the other way, it won't work as well. So make sure that when you orientate it in your octopus, and the back is just, just as beautiful really uh, as the front. So um, I could have made something with the back of it as well. Wow. And that will fit in quite nicely there, like so. So what I'm going to do, and again, this foam mat is quite soft, so I'm going to take that away. It was, I just brought it to show people that they should be working over something soft. That's fab. Using the base of the heart, on the back, on the back, you start to wire this in. Now, a good spot to start off with is probably there's um, wire through this section and this section because it's a really good spot where it's going to catch this section and this section. So pass the wire through. I'm going to turn it over through from front to back and you work on both sides simultane simultaneously so you get it looking even. Okay. Yeah, so, and it also then catches everything in place. Oh, right, gosh. 
and then the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'll talk you through quickly. <laughs> yeah. So I cinch this in, bind it around the frame once, and then bring it back. I've got all these wires over there. I should have, again. Bring it, then bring it back, click it into place if you can, you'll hear a little click. Back in under, I'm holding with my thumb and forefinger over the cabochon. Yeah. Under this. And then keeping it so you don't draw it up too tight against this frame, start to wrap round. Do the same with the other side. With this top bit, again, that's Fixed. Imagine that's fixed. That's there. fixed in place now. Um, the Imagination. Top bit, um, you again pass it over a central portion um, of the frame, which is at the top here. So pass this through, wrap round a few times through this frame. Okay, I'm sorry, you can't see it. I can see it, but you can't see it. It's okay. Um, again, I'm doing it. I'll just do it with one wire frame so you can see. Okay. You've got to do it with both basically and work your way down. Um, pass it. Not in the outer. One, two, three, four in on this one. On the, it'll pass around the, the inner face frame a couple of times, and you you can need to fill up the space. So you'll need to wrap this a few times around, because it'll be quite a few big space. Otherwise, the weave will move around a little bit. You'll find out when you actually do it. This will move around a bit in the gap and won't be secure. Okay. So wrap a few times around this, back along, wrap along, through find a gap in the frame. Wrap back. Wrap, back. But wrap both sides at the same time so you cinch this stone in. I see. Okay, I'm show going to show you the that. next bit so you can see. Already, even with this in place, it's starting to hold in. Oh, here it really is. Yes, yeah, so, but still work with the soft, onto a soft surface until you've got it ready. Okay. The next bit to do, again, I should have done it with the other one, is use your diagram or your picture to make lots of arms. I love the wiggly okay. arms. This will take you a bit of time. Okay. Okay, make one side first and then make the other side. Um, we haven't got time for me to show you how to make the arms, but I think you get it. Just take your time, shape with your pliers. But we're going to put the picture up on our Facebook page, aren't we? So if you do want to print it out, you can just follow her around, almost use it as a te stencil or yes, a template. Literally, you know, shape with your pliers. Um, I've got a loop there on those sides for hanging it up on the, on the necklace like so, but there's nothing to stop you making a loop on the other part, on the other part of the octopus. Yes. So again, use the pliers, um, sorry, make a loop, round you go, round those would be useful at this point in time, and then you make the next. The legs section. Yeah, and wiggle it round, as long as you, basically what you need to do is put it on your diagram and make sure that's it, that it marries up with your diagram. So take time to shape it along. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the diagram and the the um, the images on the Facebook page you can use as your as your template. As if you just type okay. into Facebook jewelry maker or so make that. your eight limbs with the base two wires. You're making with the outer two wires. You make these top limbs. With the second, you make these little kind of um, curly arms. The ones that. Are Okay, yes, no. and then the last two wires, you'll make two sets of legs, and then come in. And make sure you try and try and bend these so that they're approximately you can join them together. Actually, when you when you weave around the frame, and I've shown you how one way of weaving this frame together. I'm going to talk you through because we haven't got time to show. Okay. Yeah, basically. We have got about five minutes. I think. Okay. What you need to do, you can basically fill this place with space with gemstones if you okay. like. You can weave gemstones along to the edge, or you can just weave around the edges and not put any gemstones in. You can do whatever you like. What I have done, though, is form little shapes um, that fit in the gap between the gemstones, like so. And I've just basically started at this end and then wrapped round. Um, do you want me to show you that? I just, I just want to talk you through it before. I'm so you. worried. We've got a good five minutes. Five Don't minutes. worry. Don't worry. Um, I can start showing. What I'm going to do is talk you through, and if I have time, then we'll show it. Because I think, to be honest, I'd rather complete it, okay. and then we can go through that bit if you like. Fab. Basically, what you need to do then is make 
lots of shapes and it doesn't matter exactly I've done different numbers of beads in each one I just uh, to fill these spaces and then just wiggles all the way down to the end and these little sharp little bits of wire will yeah. eventually go into make curls curls up and down for each one I see. I'm just going to talk you through the order of the binding <laughs> so what you do first is bind along here and bind um, these shapes in first towards the arm work from that end bind the second arm as you go here those two must be bound together I see yeah and then bind round in between on the edge binding this piece of wire in as you go don't bind any beads in yet you'll be doing that later bind around and cinch in these little wires at, at the points at which it crosses round back up here bind to the head frame by looping through and then down to the end and tuck in Okay. and do the same for the other side then with this arm you start off in fact at the centre passing through this gap here so it's the centre where the two smallest loops are. Yes. Here. Here and here. Pass and bind through here. It's a very complex project. I was worried that we might not, um, but as long as I talk it through. Bind here and here and here. Then work round this side. Bind here. Yep. And before you do that, wrap down some be with some beads along this little track here. Okay. Okay. So until you get to this point. Bind across here to here. Bind across round and as these points touch this hand you can see I've bound this leg here and I bound this leg here mm -hmm. I haven't wrapped these yet and then you wrap along back here and you, um, you wrap along with a piece of wire back up here and you finish yes I see with the last bit of wire it doesn't really matter where you start I, I ended up starting at this one and then wrapping around here and then this one wrapping it and joining it together at this point so it joined. And then what I'm going to do, I don't know whether you can see it, so again, um, you start here, wrap round, attach in here and then down. That's start the top here. tentacle. Yeah, start here and then wrap round, attaching here, here and here. Both the fr the, those frames, they join in, back up. These two legs you can do in whatever order you like, but I just make sure you join that together so it just adds a bit of strength. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you just adding in one of these beads and then we've got time to add in this and then I will have finished the, the demonstrations at least. Okay. So take a short piece of wire. So um, this is 0.4 again? Yes. That will probably take about, about longer because I want to work with it. But you're using scrap bits of wire, so at this point, you know. And take a, um, a little 0.4 bead. And it's out of the way. I'm so sorry I've rushed this, everybody. I'm so sorry. No, I don't know really how I liked it. Um, I'm going to pick this one here because it's easier to demonstrate. Okay. Wrap round. You can use 0.25 if you like, but 0.4 is just easier to get it done quickly. Um, it depends on what beads you've got and what size. So basically wrap in round here. Again, you don't have to do it in this sort of complex way, but if you want to do it to make this design, this is how you do it. Round a few times around this, this little loop. Okay. And you carry on wrapping until you reach the base of that loop. How much time have you got, Becky? Don't worry, you've got, um, director says, two minutes okay. 45. That's fine. That's, fine, that's fine. So imagine I've wrapped round to the base. What you need to do is keep it at that widest point of the loop, wrap that down to the base, and with this other wire, I'm sorry, I must pass it up. The <laughs> minute you try and do things really, really quickly, you can't, can you? No, that is, that's <laughs> always happened. It's <laughs> even slower. Um, it's like something through treacle. And then bring this back round without creasing it. And then pass this wire th through a little bead. And then wrap it down the other side of this little loop. Okay. Until you get to the base and you trim and tuck in. This is, I know it sounds awfully complicated, 
but if you do it step by step, don't get overawed by the, sh the, the, all, the all the shapes at once. No. Do one arm at a time. It will work out. It'll take about a day and a half to make, but um, the you know the achievement, the sense of achievement of making it um, will be worth it. Definitely. And then again, I'm using. The, can you see how I'm using the pliers to help me sew through? Because my fingers are, um, aren't able to get into the gap so easily. So I poke it up, and then use one and the pliers to help pull up the wire. Brilliant. That's what I, I tend to do in these small spaces. And the, you've got some really long nose pliers, which are really good as Precision well. Precision ones, yeah. Make sure those are down to the end and cut in, um, trim and cut in. All these ends of wire. If you get this spiral spiral up and spiral down, make these little lovely little spirals, wrap wire around them, do whatever you like to add detail. Um, you can add more beads in through in these spaces. You can, you can make this pattern or the arm shapes in whatever shape you like. You can do flowing ones. You can add gizmo coils to the long ends of wire and, and spiral them up. There's lots of different things you can do. <laughs> there, I'm so sorry I've not given, done this octopus justice for you, I'm really sorry. I hope, you hope absolutely we... have, absolutely. And the thing is, mm. when you're actually doing it yourself, you'll be able to mm. see easily. So things yes. like joining the legs together. When you get to a point and you'll, there's another leg na there, yes, it'll naturally yeah. kind of yes. clasp it together, will. won't it? As and you'll long, want to bind as long them. As, yes, as you've got, if you've got this printed out, yep. and then keep placing it over so you've got it in the right shape, and if it starts distorting, just bend it back into shape again, so that does help. Yes, yeah. where it naturally crosses, just watch, look at the look at the picture, print it out, and study it. Definitely. Um, these these shapes might be the most complex shapes to form. Once you've done one arm, so you this can is just kind of the tentacles in between yes. the suction. Yeah, pads. these little suction pads. Exactly. Um, th do one, and then make the other one um, by using it as a template, and then just transverse it to the other side. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Isn't so, that wonderful? Okay. It's yeah. an absolutely <laughs> epic piece of so many grand proportions. We will have the picture of the template and the photographs of this going up on Jewelry Maker. Now, I'm heading over to a very quick break. After that, I have got some brand new hand-carved smoky quartz. Me and Rachel will see you after this. <laughs> If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel gems come along and see what treasures you can find if you're new to jewellery maker simply contact our call center and we'll send you a tutorial dvd and get started booklet all free of charge if you miss a jewellery maker show then simply go to our youtube page where you'll be able to find hours of jewellery maker footage Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. 
Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. everyone to designer inspiration my name is Rebecca Redigan and we have got about 35 minutes of fun 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 and barkings for you today I've also got the lovely Rachel <laughs> Norris working on her challenge how are you I'm fine I haven't done anything at all all I've done is made a bird shape and just put some pearls in I'm just oh, I just didn't have any time so we'll see what I can do in the last 35 minutes so. well do not worry yourself <laughs> we've got loads and loads of time um now I've got lots of treats let's get started with something brand new now when i said to you the smoky quartz hand carved before you sort of ooh. just think well the artistry is in the gemstone isn't it then uh, you just have to strand them together and you've got are they leaves or are they they might be rachel yes yes, yes. yeah <laughs> Um, so you just get a charm bracelet out of that immediately. Um, imagine a little bracelet, a little chain, lots of little dangles of leaves all the way around and that's, that's lovely. Autumn's coming oh, up. So, so cute. Um, I adore yeah, that so idea. Easy, um, easy thing to do, so head pins through. Are they through? Yeah, perfect, through drilled. Um, easy to set That is like such that. a gorgeous, mm. simple idea mm. as well. Great if you're just starting out. Beautiful mm. idea there for you in moments. Have a look at how beautiful these are. Real nice deep smoke to these. Totally natural. No smoking has taken place on this gemstone. This is natural smoky quartz. But you've still got that really amazing light burst behind this, haven't you? 70 carats worth I have here of these hand carved leaf shapes. Now, when I say hand carved, I mean that every single one of these individual leaf veins, if you will, has been individually and artistically carved in to this genuine gemstone to give every single one of these a really special and delicate effect. Smoky Quartz is a beautiful gemstone because it has a lot of information behind it. It has a lot of uh, folklore and history behind it as well. I love when you see smoky quartz and you see it in a piece, especially when you have what this has so beautifully, which is the richness of that smoking, but still with the passageway for the light to just sort of transcend through each one of these gemstones. It is a brand new strand. It's seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you today, and that is all you're paying. EMGP10. That is your code to get your hand on the brand new strand. Sometimes known actually as Kerrigorm quartz, this is, um, purely because of where it was uh, originally sort of mined quite heavily in Scotland, named after the mountain. Of course, it is Scottish gemstone, isn't it? Uh, so it is sometimes referred to as that. So if you want to do your research, uh, do have a little look for that as well. £7.95, brand swagger new strand. Congratulations, quadruple buyers on this one today. Lots of you treated yourself to it. Have a go at creating something perfect fact for our autumnal season which is just around the corner with these stunning hand carved smoky quartz leaves another newbie oh Scott did you have a look at these before oh you're gonna actually love them um have you seen, do you remember, this is a while ago now, we had the quartz that had the frosting on, but then we left those little, like, polka dot areas, didn't we, so you could actually see through areas. Do you remember? I've got that in a brand new strand, but it's so, to me, much cooler 
These are plain rounds that have actually had frosting all over them, but then have been faceted around the center section so that they're faceted in the center, but they're plain rounds on the outside. And then that's where the frosting isn't. Have a look. I love this. This is a plain round with a banding of facets. How quirky is that? Don't they look like Christmas baubles? Oh, get your baubles out for Christmas with these. Oh my God, I adore them. Plain rounds on here, but look, see that sense of sparkle? You see that? So it's plain round, but then the faceted center section. Oh my gosh, and that's where the frosting isn't. That is so magnificent. Oh, loads of you coming in for this. Absolutely loads. Let's just enjoy this for a bit. Plain frost, nothing else I've ever seen like this, ever. It's a plain round with a center faceted section. It is stunning. And then look, so you've got the frosting, but then the frosting's been taken off for the facets, which means that you, you, can, you can still see through the gems slightly. They've still got a, a transparency to them. But then in the center, you can see through it perfectly because it's crystal clear. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you coming in for this. I know I've never seen anything, anything like this. And let me, um, oh my goodness. There's so many of you coming in. Do you know what? I want to let everyone have a go at this. The reason everyone's coming in is because it's seven pounds and ninety-five pence. I am in love. What do you think of these, Rachel? Oh, I, I like unusual, the, I like right? the um, and they're unusual and I f they're fun. Um, they, oh, um, I just, I just really like them. <laughs> I just really like they're different. It's nice to have a different gemstone to work with, isn't it? Mm. Isn't it? I mean, they do look like uh, Lalique glass, don't they, when they're like that? And they do, don't they? They're just so clear. Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. Scott's just had a corker of an idea. Imagine that with some different coloured beading thread through. Oh, that'd be good. Or just imagine it with loads of different coloured gemstones because you've still got that window pane section. So look, as I put this strand behind, you can see every single colour shining through, can't you? Isn't that cool? Mm -mm. You can see the greens, the pinks, the oranges, the purples. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my gosh, I adore. Uh, loads of multi-buyers. Hello, Rebecca. Good name, love. Uh, mm. Cheryl's getting herself some Julie Judith as well. Uh, and hello, Anne. You've just come in from lovely Aberdeenshire. Seven pounds and 95 pence is all we are paying for this today. I just think it's astonishing. I've never seen anything like this. Thank you very much for sticking with us today on Designer Inspiration and for Jewelry Maker. We will be heading back over to the wonderful Rachel Norris in not so long, probably about 25 minutes. So stay exactly where you are. I've got more bargains like this coming up. 7.95, treat yourself. Whew. Yeah, let's. I've got... A, a, a genuine, real, real treat for you now. Um, I've got one of the big four coming up. Now, I'll be straight with you straight away. It's a double deal. I'm doing two strands of genuine sapphire. Um, I'm going to be straight with you again because I think it's really important in situations like this when I know the offer we're doing and I know the quality in which we're doing, I always think it's really important to give you quantity because um, I don't like people missing out. I'm just going to say to you straight, I've got 30 of these. Can you remind me of my price point on this, Scott? Do you remind me? I remember it's astonishing. Wow. That is... Okay. I'll be straight with you again. The quality of this is so super high. If you are planning on, you know, treating yourself to strands of sapphire, which originally should be kind of around the £50 mark each, then this is going to be the opportunity for you to get involved with. You are getting, you are getting double strands. Say that to me again, sorry, love. Wow. 
each one of these individually should be £45. I, um, I'm going to do you an astonishing discount, I really am. I'm going to be taking off more than a tenner on these, I'll be completely honest with you. The quality is astonishing. Um, you know uh, that obviously sapphire is sometimes recognised, isn't it, as, as a gemstone of of love, which encompasses all and defeats many. Is kind of the term that comes out of the book, and it's it's a gemstone which is synonymous with love unrivaled and love undoubtedly and unquestioned one of the reasons i believe uh, that it's given that name especially here in england is because of edward the eighth so edward the eighth of course was the only monarch in in all of our time to uh, essentially just abdicate from the throne he stepped down from the throne he, he turned up is he turned away his, his kingdom basically um because he fell in love with a woman who he was legally unable to wed as a king uh, because she'd already been previously married and, and as a monarch he wasn't able to marry someone who'd been divorced and this of course was Mrs Simpson. Now he chose to give up his, his kingdom, give up his throne completely purely so that he could spend the rest of his life with this amazing woman who he was just head over heels in love with and adored. When that happened and when he, he turned down the throne, one of the first things after that that he ever got for her as, as a show of their eternal love was a multicolored uh, sapphire bracelet. That was one of the first things he ever purchased for her. And that is one of her most adored pieces and when you imagine that her beautiful endless love bracelet piece could have looked similar to this you can understand why i am absolutely mesmerized this is a strand a double triple strand I've got two strands of 15 carats multicolored sapphire two by one by three by one you can't see as well as I can the clarity just trust me when you get this home you will see you should be bright you would pay that for one bracelet one strand of this you would pay that and you'd have enough left over for a ring but you would pay that just for a bracelet for multicolor bearing in mind you've got some of the songian colors in here you've got some of those rich greens you've got some of the pinks and lilacs in there i'm blown away at that price point what i'm about to do i'll be honest i don't 110 percent agree with but I'm going to roll with it anyway because I want everyone to get their hands on Sapphire. Your price today, that's a £30 discount. £59.90 for you. Exactly £30 off. 3 0 on the nose. That is a phenomenal price point for you today. I'm not surprised I've already got that many gone. I've only just brought the price in. These are absolutely flying. You're going to have to be so, so quick. I haven't even got on to the quality yet. Should have been £45 per strand. Working out now, though, at just £29 a strand, isn't it? What do you think of this? Um, I just love the colour. I love the colours. Ah, my Gosh. goodness, and the sparkle, because I can't see that on the... You, the screen behind you is showing the sparkle, and that's what you're getting. It's absolutely amazing. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's pretty. It's really pretty feminine colours as well. So I, I, I love the pinks and the delicate greens oh. there. Absolutely lovely. You've got all the colours. <laughs> if someone created for you a sapphire yeah. necklace, how would that make you feel when you were put placing oh, that on you your know, neck? I'd be really happy, really chuffed, you know, really, um, you know, really ecstatic actually if someone had taken the time um, and with kindness to make something for me anyway, yeah, let alone with a gemstone like that. It's yeah. What a lovely gift. It just adds mm. to it, doesn't it? It really, really does. 
The thing is, I've only got 20 of these left currently. This is your Gems of Distinction quality on each of these strands. You've got brightness and lightness in each. When we're looking at uh, your tick list, you know, do your checklist in your mind for sapphire. What do I always say? I always say you need, <laughs> you always need clarity in sapphire, don't you? You're always looking for a saturation that is symmetrical throughout. You've got that on this as well. That's two things already on there and then you're looking for your workmanship look at the sparkle you can see it on the side behind me look at the sparkle on these that's due to workmanship five in baskets 19 left that's it when do you get 30 three zero pounds off sapphire imagine it at home imagine how you're going to feel to own these two strands have you ever bought yourself a strand and thought that is so gorgeous i actually don't want to cut it up and sometimes you keep it and keep it and keep it don't you yeah and you think oh my goodness oh i really want to do something with it but i can't with this you can keep one to stare at and love and stroke and you can actually work with one it's the perfect double whammy of joy for you here 60 pounds it's less than today 30 pounds off at 59 pounds and 95 pence you really are treating yourself to something that's synonymous with love synonymous with quality synonymous with royalty and at 59 pounds and 95 pence it's yours for an absolute deal this truly is an absolute deal this is value for money truly is this always epitomizes value for money because you have got quality that is unrivaled it really is i can't think of a time i've seen sapphire of this quality a long time it's been definitely but you're getting it at a discounted price because we're giving you a double whammy that's the power of jewelry maker treat yourself today 59 pounds and 90 i've only got 15 of them left i'm being told i've still got about five in baskets treat yourself to them today and actually how gorgeous imagine how you would feel right now if someone created for you a beautiful uh, pearl necklace just with a cluster of sapphire in the middle well I'll tell you what you could with these oh imagine imagine this as your necklace you talk at the back and then these just clustered together or even just in a drop shape how much would you sell that for hundreds of pounds if it was on the high street wasn't it but even actually just for yourself even just on your stall you'll be knocking up there won't you easily i'm bringing these pearls to you right now they are something so special light peach isn't that a really nice description there's nothing worse than a heavy peach is the You've got the light peach colour, the delicate. Is light peach they're described as. I wouldn't like to argue with the people who write the descriptions. <laughs> right, champagne on me, the champagne. Um, these are so pretty. They are your potato pearls that we have here. So that means you've got one size that's slightly different in direction. So these are 11 by 10 mil that we have on this today. Pearls of Vastly, your favourite of this year, of this season, set to continue. There's something about pearls, isn't there, that is just all so awe-inspiring. Oh, I've got my band of boys today, I've just remembered. Right, come on, one word each, please, gentlemen. What comes to mind when you think pearls? Ryan, I'll start off with you. Elegance. Elegance, good. Director Ben, what are you saying? <laughs> elves. <laughs> Did you just say elves? <laughs> Ew. Luxury, good one, Scott. Luxury, absolutely. And decadent, well done, absolutely, Ben. All of those words coming from a team of strong, broad gentlemen. Powerful brute, uh, Ben has just described himself as. And it's true though, isn't it? Everybody knows, no matter what your age, your sex, your creed, everyone has names and words that spring to mind to do with pearls. And it generally is what we've just heard. It's about the luxury aspect, isn't it? It's about the agelessness, the timelessness of this. These are your beautiful light peach cultured pearls from 10 by nine to 11 by 10. Already got multi buyers on this. 
BAP0098 is the code, you guys. It's just 19 pounds and 95 pence. You've got to see this against the neckline. Perfect for me. Perfect length for me as a necklace. Just with it touching at the back. That for me is astonishing. What do you do with pearls generally when you work with them? Um, I know it's probably a very vast question. <laughs> oh, well, you're working with them now. I've, I've got some shell pearl. I just. Um, I've wired them into the wings of a of a bird, for oh, example. Fab. I'm very badly, <laughs> um, but uh, you can incorporate them into pieces, or just use them simply like that. Pearls and amazonite go so well together. Oh dear. Okay. And why do you think that um, is? I because oh, they're just um, amazonite's a lovely soft colour, and yeah. and the pearl is a very soft. Always, always um, the um, sheen of the pearl will soften whatever colour it is, in my view, you know. Um, so, yeah, they can work well. They're my, they're a lovely combination that I use. I like yeah. that as a combination. <laughs> That's yeah. lovely. Because a lot of people will have combos in their mind of, say, mm. colours, but actually... Pearls and like for me. Pearls and always put them That's gorgeous. A gorgeous mm. description. £19.95, and pence. the price of pearls has gone up and is set to continue. So get it at bargain price whilst you can. A necklace worth of pearls, less than £20. Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence for you. Bapo ninety-eight is your code on this. Oh, how about some of February's birthstone? This is some of the clearest green amethyst I've ever seen. I went to see Wicked last night. This has just reminded me. Oh, it was epic. It was so, so good. It's just remind me of the Emerald City with this gorgeous greenness running through it. Have a little look. See what I mean? It's got that emerald green tone to it, hasn't it? It was really, really good, apart from the, the man sat next to me, book one. So sat, I went with my cousin, sat next to him. He fell asleep, okay, very loudly. He was snoring and he kept sort of nodding his head like that no he was definitely going to sleep he sort of was doing that do you know what i mean uh, like that how can you go asleep with that much noise and that much clapping he was like whoa whoa he was still conks out it's a talent that isn't it blimey britain's got talent next year <laughs> it has so has it it's got that gorgeous clarity to it that you didn't expect from those beautiful emeralds in emerald city 70 carats worth of green amethyst. Yeah, and these are your plain ovals. A lot of clarity to this. Um, green amethyst is, is a peculiar one because sometimes it is quite clear that you'll have obvious inclusions. Actually, though, the quality of this is so up there that the light does just dance through this. Green amethyst at six pounds and ninety-five pence. That does seem lunacy to me as well, producer Scott. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. Isn't that funny? That as soon as I stand here and you sit there, I call you producer Scott. But nowhere else in the building do I call you that. Never. It's just when there's this distance. Isn't that funny? Uh, six pounds and ninety-five pence given to you by producer Scott. HZRU01 is the code. Now, green amethyst. What kind of colours of wire would you think of working with oh, this? Silver for me, and I really? team it with citrine and Rose de France um, amethyst uh, because I, I like they, they, they obviously work so well together and they're the same family. So that's I would. Um, either well, you can use it on its own, of course. Yeah. But I love combining it with the Rose de France amethyst and the citrine. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop! I won't lie. I sort of started not hearing what you were saying because I was just like that bird. Oh my god! We'll have a look at that in a bit. Oh, um, six pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. This is seventy carats worth. When do you get genuine gemstone strands at that price point anymore? We got an email sent around a while ago saying we weren't allowed to do that anymore, and we have today. Six ninety-five. That's for you. A little treat from us to you today. Help yourself to it. 
Oh. I've got a selection of findings coming up for you now, which we're just saying silver for this, aren't we? So, how about we hit along the same silver theme? I have got some jump rings here for you. Oh my goodness, look at the quality of this. Loads in here. Actually, I lied. The bolt ring clasps. Sorry, I couldn't see them. There were so many in that bag. You get so many. These are a pack of your bolt ring clasps that we've got here. In this pack, you are going to be getting the silver plated copper bolt ring clasp. 50 of these in total you're going to be getting. Look at that pile, look at that mound that you've got here. There's absolutely loads. 50 in there, so that's 50 necklaces, isn't it? Or 50 bracelets, or, or 25 matching pieces. You've then got loads of these flat-headed um, head pins. Look at them, extra long head pins with the flat ball head. Look at that. I absolutely adore about these. You can, of course, lay them into polymer. Um, and in fact, actually, say you wanted to do lovely, um, the lovely elephant that Rachel Norris did for us before, but perhaps you're more of a silver person, you could actually use these, couldn't you, as their toes and as their eyes? Because look how beautifully the flat heads just catch the light. It's beautiful, isn't it? So you've got loads and loads of these as well in there. A hundred, in fact. Then you've got the findings pack so that's everything in there uh, the findings packs in the bottom corner there you get in here a meters worth of your chain which i will show because i have not seen this chain in yonks um oh you've also got those you know the diamond shaped flat head pins so as opposed to the round flat heads diamond shape i love this chain i think it feels really strong and bold that's why I like how it catches the light just beautifully. It's kind of, I'd describe it as a flattened round, personally. Meters worth of this you're getting in that uh, pack today, including but not limited to, of course, some of your funky toggle clasps and some of your jump rings as well in there, shepherd tucks. All of this should be 16 pounds and 85 pence, which is astonishing because you're actually getting 265 pieces in this 265 pieces your price today oh are you joking really oh no okay i didn't know this your price today for all of this eee! eight pounds and 95 but wait the findings pack the findings pack oh you are getting yourself 50 bolt ring clasps, which I know at that big department store that we all know, you get a pack of 15 for four pounds something. I know that. Those are the cheap versions as well, like the home ones. 15 of those. You've got 50 here at 50p because you've got 100 here for 50p all of this all of this that i've got here in front of me is a pound one pound that we've got that is astonishing by the findings pack you've got 115 pieces in there and then you get 150 pieces of your copper plated silver for free silver plated copper all the way around <laughs> for absolutely nothing eight pounds and 95 pence you buy this you get all of this for one pound get it quick honestly honestly going fast stgc 10 that is your code the last thing you're gonna probably see for a little while at this price point it's just an astonishing array of goodies for you it really is oh and it's got those gorgeous let me show you these well you know, we were talking before when we did the um, LED elephant and we showed you those little sort of diamond shaped spaces and we put them as the front of the headdress, didn't they? Well, these ones aren't the same, but you could definitely use these instead. Couldn't you? Because they're the gorgeous little flower shaped ones. Imagine these in the centre of the headpiece, centre of the headdress. Oh, yeah, what do you think? 
Yes. That'd work? It would. I think I've used them. No, I've definitely used the head pinny ones, but, uh, the ones in the packs, but those work really, really well because you just put head pin through and they'll add that extra bulk of detail really well. So that is what would hold them in, isn't it? So this is just on one of the head pins that you also get in this kit and just that into the front, into the centre yeah. of of yes. um, the yes. elephant himself. Yeah, I and mean, I've just used a flower head pin which gives you the same effect. Imagine the, the top of that oh, yeah. oh, you're and the right eyes. Because this is a smaller one. Mm. So look, can you see him there? Oh, I mm. It's the elephant we had before. So if you did a larger elephant, you could do in a different colourway, because this is just the... Mm. Oh, this is, this a tiny is the baby one. Look at his <laughs> chunky little legs. Oh, it's so <laughs> uh, Oh, so I talked to my dog. Uh, <laughs> you can do that really easily with this whole kit. I love him. Um, loads and loads of you getting your hands on this. You've gone off my screen. I've got people from Derbyshire, from America, from Greater Manchester, from Yorkshire. Loads of you coming around. <laughs> I've got to, I'm going to try and squeeze some more in really quickly. Yes, I do remember that. Let's do that. Where is it? Oh, I've got it. Now, we didn't tell you we were going to bring this because we weren't totally sure how many we were going to be able to get. We have managed to get ourselves some. We are so, so happy about this. This is your 95 oval ring collection. Take a look at this for me. Now, these are your sizes that we've got up on your screen. So when you get in touch, when you get involved, you can let us know your size. I personally am the N to O, so this size will be perfect. It won't work for us. Uh, you've got your 95 here. Now, talk to me about inlaying polymer in this, because um, surely. Yes, polymer. Um, uh, I made years ago, Debbie showed how to do, use the extruder tool and you made the lovely colour block, sliced it off and popped it in there. And I, I don't really have to glue it in, but you can put resin on top as well. Yes. So you can put a layer of polymer clay and then put it in your handy handy, you know, the one with the clamps. The clamps, the vice clamp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You either the vice clamp here or you know the one with the magnifying glass. Yeah. You can keep that, um, you can actually hold, keep it horizontal, put the resin in and then or you can wire, um, wire beads into because the, there's gaps. You can wire beads, um, gemstones into the. Into That's the thing. gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's something gone wrong. It won't let us play it. I don't know why. Scott, explain this to me. Oh no. Scott doesn't know why either. We'll try and get it up for you at some point. We will try and sort that out for you. We're really sorry. I'm so sorry. But now Scott has to make up for himself with a, a shocking price. No, not by coming out on screen and disrupting everyone with your face. <laughs> ben, ben suggested with his shirt off, but no one needs to see that, do they? Um, this is the perfect square. You're going to do as an astonishing price, producer Scott. Okay. Of course he is. Of course he is. You have got here two strands of your red crackled quartz. Very berry tone, isn't it? On the 10 mil. And then you've got two of your black. And this is 130 of the black crackled quartz. I don't think I've ever seen black crackled quartz before, but I love it. Gorgeous colour combo together. Should be £27.80. What is Scotty Bellotti being going to do for us? Ooh! Ooh, I like that a lot. Four strands of genuine gemstones for just £19.95 for you today. This is a beautiful colour palette and really interesting shapes in here. It's, it's got that dusky colouring to it, hasn't it? It's got just a delicate touch of tones in here, hasn't it? £19.95 on all of this. It's absolutely astonishing. The perfect squares. That is so, so much of a descriptive name, isn't it? <laughs> £19.95 for you today. You've got that really delicate, very berry, almost cranberry tone, haven't they, to them actually. And you've got that deep crackle black. I just want to see these intertwined. Oh, yeah. I think they work really well together, actually. What do you think? Do you like them? Unisex. How easy would it be to have a pair of cufflinks with this? That would be so simple, wouldn't it? 
Now, I'm heading back over to the gorgeous Rachel Norris now. And we're about to bring up her DVD information. Come with me, Nelly. I can't believe. I can't do an impression of an elephant. It's hard, yeah, isn't it? I could, I could, but I'll do that in the car on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Let me put Nelly back there. I can't believe <laughs> that you've managed to do this in what must be probably about 40 minutes. Mm. I, yes. <laughs> I mean, I found that um, quartz, which has been used a few days ago. That's beautiful. Gorgeous, and then some it? shell pearl in there. Um, and then just wiggle some wire around. Stuff. How did you manage <laughs> to shape this? Because you obviously haven't done, uh, used a template. No, again, that's in addition to of my DVD. Yeah. So I do show how to make a bird shape in that one. So um, I've done it before. Again, I would have spent a bit of time making it neater, but there we go. It'll, it'll do. <laughs> we do still have some of the addition to well, one, two, th one through three available. I think we've got like two left or something ridiculous. So actually, do treat yourself to it right now. Um, Four pounds and ninety-five pence is the artisan earrings. These are the ones that we've got just down here. Uh, this is our DVD. First day you're able to purchase it, so it will be with you in a couple of working days, and you too can learn to create these beautiful, beautiful earrings. I absolutely love your pieces. Thank you. Well, you've been wonderful to be with today. you have been very calming and relaxing and kept me going. And <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you no, no so problem. Two hours sleep. And so it, it's uh, done really well to keep keep going and actually make sense, which I have, probably haven't. But there you have go. made <laughs> perfect amount of sense. You really have. Say that to me again, Scott. It'll let you do the ring now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll very quickly well, show you that it. lovely <laughs> ring setting. You can do lots with it and put polymer clay in it and wire some beads in it and everything else like that. Wonderful. Mm. Really easy to do as well. That's coming up on your screen now. Now, whilst mm. I'm bringing that over, there it is up on your screen. Ryan, your ace. Thank you, sweet pea. This today is just £15.95. pence. It's totally solid 925, £15.95. pence going to be fitting your ring finger perfectly fill it play it whatever you wish to do it's absolutely gorgeous Rachel you are ridiculously talented and just really lovely yeah. um, I've had so much fun working with you thank you you're an absolute darling oh bless you when are you next on <laughs> um well I'm taking September for a slight break cool. um, because I'm doing an NHS waiting list initiative okay wow. um, but I think I'm thinking it's the first of October so it's not that long not that no. long at all a few weeks no. that's it mm. uh, if, if people want to find you on Facebook, how do they um, find you? Uh, Rachel Norris, uh, uh, JM, um, Rachel Norris, or something like that. JM, <laughs> S designer, <laughs> <Yes>. Rachel Norris. <laughs> Um, do treat yourself to the ring and also to Rachel's Artisan DVD because I've had over a thousand of those sell today already. So do treat yourself. You've been an absolute gem. Thank you, thank you. Do yeah. stay tuned because in the late show, I've only gone and got spellbinding Laura binding. <laughs> we will see you very, very soon. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.